Avian! No lurk. Only lurch. Oh, hi, Skids. Oh, hi, Taz. It's a me, uh, it's a Brian O. Oh, hi, everybody. Oh, Adventure Island. 
We are looking at... Oh, that's interesting, though. No, we're doing... Uh, uh, in Miracle World. In Miracle World. But we need to do Adventure Island. Which is very similar in vibe, right? We haven't done Adventure Island yet, have we? Probably should change my glasses out. I can't see Squaticus. Taz, you know nothing about the Alex Kid games? Well, I know very little as well. So we're going to learn about it together. Together. We're going to learn more about it together. What do you say? Look at this. There it is right there. Alex, kid. In, in, yes, that is a real Sega Master System. And yes, that is a real game. Zoe, just resubscribe for 28 months around. Thank you so much, Zoe. Welcome. Welcome. Let's go live. Oh, my camera's not on. Here I am. Yeah, it was it? Oh, and now it's gone. Where'd it go? Why'd it go? Why'd it disappear? Oh, there I am. Oh, I see why. That's covering the whole screen. I see what happened there. Cool. Oh, hi, Wabbit. Coffee's here. I'm always late, and I like to show up early. I get notifications, but they are not audible. No! You're not, uh... Yeah, I'm just stoned. <laughs> oh, hi, Racer. <laughs> You're not late. You're precisely when you uh, intended to come. Wizard? Uh. Oh, hi, everybody. How's your Tuesday going? Had some thrifty picks today. Found a genuine game of risk. For our Sega Genesis in the box. Did I mention complete in box? I was shocked. In the thrift store I go to, I don't usually see games this old. Usually PlayStation 2 is as old as I see. 16-bit generation. Exactly, coffee. Now, now my sick my Sega Master System intentionally was like the one that I had when I was a kid, uh, which is the one that came with the snail game. Let's look at that actually for a minute. For those who don't know, the Sega Master System. If you just booted it up with no carts, um, I think I'm not sure how many seconds you have to wait, but you have to wait for a couple of seconds, and once you do. Um, a little game will pop up. Now, if you had, I think there was, where's there, there were some with, um, I think there were some with Alex Kidd, and I think there was some with a, a version of Sonic, right? If I remember correctly. Um, I'm, I'm going to look for a master system with, uh, Alex Kidd built in, um, just because I want one. Because uh, this doesn't. This one only comes with the snail game. Is it? I think maybe you don't wait. Maybe you just you hold both the buttons down at the same time. I'm trying to remember what the trick is. Um, to play to turn off the power. And so there's a way to do it because it wasn't like. Oh, there it goes. Okay, maybe I either I waited long enough or I held the buttons down long enough. One of the two things just happened, but this was built into the Sega Master System. Um, it's been a while since I've done this, but I think I can still pull it off. Uh, definitely not that way. All right. We went that way. That's not it. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, good. Okay, so I guess I need to go down this way then because... Wow, okay. All right. Now, we're going to be playing Alice Kid here in a minute. Um, is it just... No, it's not that way. No, little snail. No, little snail. Well, it's not that way either. What? Wait. What? What? Wait a minute. 
Wait. Hey. That's not it either. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta go up. That one. Well, that. Yeah, okay, I see. All the time's up. My time's up. Sega. There's our Alex kid in Miracle World. Move over, Santa. Me put it in your bag. Sega. Coffee says, with mine, I would just turn it on for Alex Kidd. If there were other options I didn't know about. Yeah, they, I, they with the original launch, they, they had the maze game in there. But I think that was like a, a system test. I don't think that was in, you know, like a big, that wasn't like a selling point or anything like that. And then they started including them, I guess, since they already had the memory there, I suppose. I don't know. Wabbit says, uh, not true. I like to show up on streams as soon as before they start streaming. Well, you made a perfect timing because I literally had just turned the timer off. The timer had just ended. And uh, look at that. It looks kind of like a Wario guy down there on the on the J side. So this. So Alex Kid in Miracle World. I've got a second audio feed coming in somewhere. I'm trying to figure out where that is at. Let me see if I can. I think it may be coming from. Oh, it's coming from there. Okay, I see. I found it. Oh, now I've got double ups. Now I've got double ups. Oh, I know why. Because I got the thing. Oh, Brian, you and your testing. Always testing something. More like testing my patience. More like testing my patience. Am I right? Of course I'm right. You probably, you guys probably aren't hearing a double up, but I am. Oh, really? Your Mac notifications are not beeping. They should, says Wabbit. We've got a bigger problem. Let's see. Oh, I see it. I see you. Oh, that's not it, though. Maybe it's this one. That's the one. Ah, singular audio. Thank you so much. Alice Kid Miracle World. Did I ever play it? No, not really. No, not really. So let's get to it. This is my first time playing Alice Kid in Miracle World. Push a button, start button, start. And by the way, if you didn't know, when it says to do that, you just look over here at your uh, your. Uh, controller here and you'll notice there's a one button has start on it and a two button so one and two for the control pad eight directional control pad the number two button or b as i'll probably call it many times allows me to do a little punch with alex kid oh and i got a big old jump so this guy's kind of like the dragon ball z character which is based on the uh uh like what is it the what what what's that What's that folklore, that Japanese folklore? Is that right? Is it Japanese or Chinese? The game is Japanese, right? Monkey King. There you go. Monkey King. But he has a, has a name, like... Well, look how happy he is. So we, did, we weren't to Sonic level yet, so this was this was like a Mario killer, right? That's what you're looking at here. You're like, hey, let's do a Mario killer. You want some regular old platforming? No, let's do something different. Let's go up and down, up and down. Coffee says, you have a spare Pico, don't you, Brian? There's a project that emulates the Steam Deck pedal using any button. Oh, so, okay, the Stream Deck. Okay, I got you. The Stream Deck pe uh, pedal using any button input on a Pi Pico. I'm converting to professional... A stenographer's pedal for a friend. Interesting. That's interesting. I actually have like a little um I have a keyboard pedal, like a, uh the sustain pedal. You know what I'm talking about? Must sustain. What are these buzzard looking things? Take this you buzzard looking thing. Or are they tyrantic tyrannodar tyrannical Tyrannos? What is that? Hey wait! <laughs> oh my god, what? Whoa! Okay. We, uh... 
Guess the, uh, the, oh, dadgummit! So I guess you can't escape the ghost? Once you release the ghost? Well, that's a penalty. Now wait, was, was that box marked? Was this a star, right? Now this one has marked with a, with a skull face. Midi pedals, I have them on the kiddo's keyboard and drums, yeah. Su that's it, that's it, skits. Sun Wukong. Sun, is it Sun Wukong? Or I think it's said Wu, right? Even though it's spelt Wo. Wo. For Americans, it is. What was the name of that Apple device in the 90s that was for gaming? Oh, um... Oh, shoot, Wabbit, that's a... We want, we want to talk about that. Uh, oh, I lost my little money bag there. We was going to talk about that. What is that thing called? There was like a gaming thing for the Apple there for a minute. Oh, no, 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 there's multiple ghosts. All I did was, I stepped on the panel, I stepped on the panel. Oh boy, this game just needed a hurry up mechanic, didn't it? Now I'm hurrying up. How far do I have to get away from those ghosts before they stop chasing me? Boy, you just kind of keep going down forever, don't you? Boop, boop, boop. Stream others, thank you for following Marco. Let me see if I get this right. Or is it Mark... Zabuza. Marco Zabuza. Am I close? Or is it... Is it Marcos? Marcos Zabuza. Am I putting the right emphasis on the syllable? I'm good. Greetings from Brazil. Oh, hi. Those who stream Alex Kid gains my follow. This is my first time doing uh, Alex Kid, so that's amazing. Now Brazil has a special relationship with uh, with Sega, right? Oh, isn't it Brazil that has the that that they're still like making Sega stuff through? Uh, oh, what is the name of that company? So thank you so much, and welcome in. I am a retro streamer. Uh, we do like 8 and 16-bit systems, but we go a little further sometimes. Bleem. I know Apple funded a PS1 emulator to turn the G3 laptops into a game console by proxy. Bleem. Wabbit. By Bandai. I knew there was some other company. Oh, you got some more information. You're okay. Oh, very good. We'll have to give our... Let's give a shout-out if anybody's... Let's see if we've got any mods in there. So I'm going to give you a follow back there. Luke. There we go. Give a follow back. Oh, oh. Please don't... What? I'm not, I didn't say follow back. I said give a follow. Did I not give the follow? I did, but I must have also clicked on Whisper. Hmm. Genius. Genius. Now, we like playing on real hardware. Santa's in the way right now. But we got our... Um, we got our Sega Master System back there. Oh, Santa. Get out of the way. Yeah, I like Bleemcast. That was cool for the Dreamcast. Now, do I just run out of air suddenly and start going up? Because I think that's what it made me do a few seconds ago. Because there's no real on-screen uh, you know, interface that tells you what's going on exactly. I don't have like points or don't have a clock. It doesn't appear. The only hurry up mechanic so far has been those ghosts. I love these fish, by the way. They are hilarious. Oh my gosh, I was wrong. I'm in love with the frog man. I'm in love with a frog man. Okay, am I saving him? All right. Or do I need to fight this guy? Okay, he's got, he's got air bubbles. Oh, that killed me. Interesting. So he's got poison... Air bubbles, three deaths, no continues. Oh my gosh, when do I get on the Wave Runner? Oh, I got a little helicopter too. 19, just 1985. Hmm. Wabbit, absolutely, you did not, you did not distract there. Hey, hey, monkey, can you give a shout out to our new friend, Marco Zabuza, also a retro streamer. Thank you so much, monkey. Just chat. And sometimes we do that. Matter of fact, we'll be doing some just chat in about a week or so when we get uh, to our community event. I didn't turn my CRTs on tonight. 
That's okay, right? That's okay. I've been rearranging stuff in my office. I spent most of my time last night rearranging my stuff. Okay, so we got a little belt here. What if I hit... It's interesting because, you know, the... the you may not know this. The Master System's only got the 8-direction pad, right? Which is over there. And then it's got this just the two buttons. So there's no select or start. The start is, lit, like, number one, the one button. Um, so there's... Sometimes you would have combinations of things. I'm not seeing anything there. So I'm not sure what the value of the ring is now I did purchase this is a standalone cart okay so you only can go if you gotta be careful if you go oh if you go down too far you lose out okay oh you can duck okay that's good I love the character design of Alice Kid in this one by the way such a cutie such a cutie all right let's see if we can punch this pterapodactyl now, as you notice also, we did not get any upfront story. All right. There's no wall jumps, as I assume there would not be, but he does a pretty good jump. You got a you got a short jump. You can jump as short as that, so you can hit certain things. But you also have this really high jump if you hold longer. And it looks like you can you can only punch one time when you're in the air. Well, maybe maybe that's not true. Okay, yeah, I can get I can get two punches off maybe if I hit it just fast enough. We miss you in Saturday voice chat, Monkey. We do. Monkey's been very busy lately. We do miss Monkey though. I know Monkey's been getting ready and doing all that new. He's got some new stuff going on, getting gear. Monkey they used to do a lot of stuff on bikes and stuff, but Monkey's been. I think Monkey's had to make a couple of life changes. Oh, that's right, it's the ghost! Daggummit! Eek! There's only one way to escape. Oh. Bad timing. Bad timing. Okay, so that was a star box, right? That No, it was a question box. That's also weird. I just noticed he did that. He will suddenly shake and stop. Oh, because I hit the skull box. Okay, so that must be a temporary immobilization. I gotcha. Oh, we learned our lesson from last time. If you go over top of that box over there, ghosts will start appearing. Okay, so we got to be careful right here. Boop. Oh my, I jumped too far. I jumped too far. No life or anything. Nothing showing up for life or anything like that. Okay, wait a minute. I just remembered. I just remember when I was doing all this stuff. I forgot that there is a pause button on the console itself. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Glad to have you here. We love our internationals as much as our locals. You're trying to reach 1.6. Very good. Very good. We're trying to we're gonna try to do we're gonna try to get to three thousand. Our our year end said that we uh on twitch our recap says we we uh, acquired about 460 odd follows so we're about uh, what 658 away from that next level so we're gonna try to get up uh to 3000 this next year oh absolutely one more follow just one more follow okay so if I hit the pause button here, oh, I can use this kind of like a little mouse controller here. Okay. Okay. Oh, what did that do exactly? I have a score of 200. Oh, these would be all the things I've collected. All right, so what just happened there, I wonder? Hmm. Okay. So what is that little star thing there? Interesting. Okay.
<laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, now we're talking. Look at this. Oh, look at. Okay, now we're talking. Now we've got some. We got a ranged weapon. Look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah. There we go. So what was I talking about? Oh, earlier I was talking about before I rudely interrupted myself with understanding the controls. Um, I just purchased just the cart off eBay. Um, because the complete box was a good bit more expensive for this. Which is not bad. It's still only like, you know, in the 50s or something. I think I paid like, you know... It's like forty, fifty dollars U.S. dollars um, to get kind of complete in box, and uh, so I was, but I was able to get the cart for like sixteen or something. So just the cart. I can look up the I can look up the manual. It's not that big of a deal, and I'm really not a big fan of the Master System uh, <laughs> cover boxes, the cover art. <laughs> I kind of hate them actually. Right? Taz, isn't that cool? I, I I love the art style as well. I like how it breaks apart, too, those those boxes. That's pretty cool. Okay. How am I supposed to get through here? Like, oh, shoot. Oh, it's ill-timed. Ill-timed. Oh, I, I like the music change, though. Music change is nice. How do I jump? I can't jump, huh? Oh, I can no longer shoot, either. I guess you can't shoot underwater. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, the game is over. Okay. Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Let's see what we will eventually make it to here. This Miracle World. Okay, so the pause button doesn't do anything there. Okay, and if you press... Okay, it's very fast, that opening intro thing there. Okay, now that we've done that... Seeing if I can move around any here. It does control very smoothly, and it has to because of the, you know... The very finite jumping that you have to do. I don't think I've ever used my pause button on my master system. Interesting. It is a little... I will say that it's a little bit slidey, but th I think that's pretty... I think that's more a uh, product of his time. It's not a technology problem. I think this is how we were used to controlling things. It's a little slidey. Okay, now that we pick up this little ring thing here, we can then go in here and equip it. And now, we will be able to shoot. There we go. Very good. We learned so. Oh, Satan Slurpee is here. What is up, my friend? I haven't seen you in a minute. But I do love how the, the style is all mashed up for different things, like you said. Yeah, 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 the, uh, correct. Yeah, the, the little pad and stuff. Is it's an eight direction pad, so it's not like a D pad where it's like that was always I always liked it about the master system. It's it's kind of slidey, right? It's not it's not like a it's not like a cross. You got like a full you just kinda run your thumb across it. I always like this little pad. Never understood why the other ones didn't pick it up. Hmm, I don't know. It's a very comfortable pad, though. I like it. You know, I've never seen any of the other... I know they had other controllers for the Master System, but I don't think I ever... I never had any. I only had the OG. And I have two. Yes, Shinobi World was actually the first place... Shinobi was my first Sega Master System game. Um, and so... When I started exploring more Shinobi games, this is with the first time I encountered Alex Kidd. I never had Alex Kidd uh, back in the day. 
Um, so that's where I knew him from with Shinobi. We, we determined that's a question mark and it's going to be a ghost and we don't want to do that. You can't shoot while squatting, by the way. Just like in real life, you can't squat and shoot. I guess. I don't know if that's, that's something. I don't know. That's too bad. He is very tight in that block. To be able to get to him... Hmm. I just don't know how I could get to him. I mean, I could jump down there. It's kind of like the... Uh, oh, I know what I could do. I could just shoot these out and then it'd be a little bit easier because then I can just drop down, right? Oh, but I still... Oh, so like I said, still a little faster, a little slidier than you might. Well, I like the flashing... The flashing outfit, though. I do like that. There we go. I got him that time. Oh, what did it get me? What did it get me, really? All right. I do want to see something here, though. I, I need to see something. I don't know what points I'm getting here. So um, it says we have 400. Oh, I hit the little pause button there. Um, it says I have two men and I have a score of... What is that? A score of 400, but I have 80 power? Is that my health, my current life, or something, possibly? Alright. We got two of the small... We got two of the small boxes there, and we killed a creature. Let's look at our score now. Okay. Oh, and now that's up to 100. I still don't know what that little, that little sprite thing is. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Oh no, what's happened, Satan Slurpee? Hey, it's been a crazy week. Family health issues. Yeah. So not much extra time. I'm I'm feeling kind of under the weather myself. Um actually I was almost I was laying in bed going, Do I have it in me? I said, not nah, yet, yeah, let me go grab some coffee. Let's see if we can do it. So thank you guys for coming out and rewarding me for my hard work by showing up. I haven't felt good the last couple of days. I've, I felt pretty, pretty crappy. Pretty crappy. Um, but that's okay. That's, you know, it's that kind of, it's the time of the year, right? It's that time of year. So, all right, let's see. All right. But if we do this, we see we get this little freeze and shake thing. I definitely have to get the manual on this and read. All right, I don't want to be careful here. So last time I ran and I jump and hit that guy. All right, so we need to eliminate this guy because you got to be careful not jump on that. Oh, I did it anyway. Oh, oh, brrr. I love the little ghost sprite. I do like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, Satan Serby confirms doing much better. Now, thanks. Mother-in-law is back from hospital and things are getting closer to normal again. Well, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Coffee cures a lot of things. True story. I've been feeling wore out. Like, just... Like, really tired. To the point it worries me. It's like the kind of tired is like... You know, if you're just sick, if you're like running a fever, you're like... You accept all the symptoms because it's like, oh, I'm running a fever. That's, that's why I'm tired and having chills and shaking and, you know, I, I can't hardly... I don't have any energy... Then it just makes sense, right? But when you're not having a fever and you're just like, you're like, oh, God, I don't feel like I can move. It's just like, ugh. It's like, what's going on? Do I have something major going on? <laughs> Is there something more here? Probably not. Probably not. I get a physical on uh, Thursday. Yay me. Yay me, I get a physical. Yay that I can get one. Boo that I have to. <laughs> These fish are awful cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I get stunned when I hit that too. So I don't see the advantage. Oh, I have to. Oh, I see. I have to because I've got to break through the barrier on the other side. Okay, so I don't want to hit that skull because it's going to freeze me up for a second. And those bubbles are deadly. He's got deadly bubbles. Oh, and you can't, you can't punch him. You can't punch him. Oh, look at that angry fish. See how angry he was? I love it. Taz says, I've stepped up my cardio workout and have been sleeping better. That's awesome. More energy, too. That's one of my main problems. I haven't been sleeping well, either. I haven't been sleeping well. What's he drinking? Is he like drinking root beer? Coffee says, Brian, someone painted your house with radium. 
<laughs> and asbestos glued together with cat spit, apparently. The, see, that's the fear. That's the fear speaking. I try not to allow... I try not to allow the crazy to talk. It's probably nothing, but that's what the last thing people say before something is something. <laughs> oh, Scott thinks he's coming down with something too? Like I said, I, there's a lot of things going around, like a stomach bug and, and that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's I'm sure it's nothing, but that's what... That's what rational thinking outspoken Brian says. Brian at two in the morning <laughs> when it's quiet and all you have are your thoughts says um, says it's something much worse. It, it has to be, you know, pick your choice. Uh, cancer, heart failure, uh, you know, anything you can imagine. Col uh, a colon blockage. <laughs> You know, just any crazy thing you could do. Oh, hi, Casey Turbos. What's going on? How's your, how is your Tuesday? Oh, day our been, has been, car uh, oh yeah, Carnival Cruise Ship this year. Oh, Little Miss has brought home a viral gastro six times. Oh, see, oh, that's rough. And see, that's one of the things that's been going around. And see, I just, I feel like I just had whatever was going around the, 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 viral uh, gastro stuff because I felt really nauseous and I was, everybody was throwing up people were throwing up uh, around me let's put it that way and uh, and a lot of people said you know this been sick and I my mouth was like watering one like last Friday night like right before I throw up and I'm like okay here it comes and that never happened but the, my, other, my rest of my stomach got pretty upset too so you know and now I think it's just like leftovers. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. Oh, no. Come on. I slid right off. Slid right off. Oh, now I'm going to get killed again. Because Oh, no. And then I stepped on the ghost box. Not the ghost box. This game is brutal. Where's my save states? Oh, that's a good question. I wonder if there's some cheats and stuff. Is there like some... Uh... It's got to be right. Racer says, mine so far has been not getting me sick. Even my travel. That's awesome. Skit says, did you see that Transformers band I posted in music the other day? No, I didn't. I didn't see that, Skit. So I'll have to check it out. What, is it on the Miss, uh, Mission Deep Discord server? Was it under music or something? Or he says, mine so far. Okay. Casey says, does this version do rock, paper, scissors? I don't know. I don't, know if we, I don't think we've made it that far. I don't think we've made it far to find that out. Burp, burp, burp. Oh, shoot. I'm sure I probably need that money, right? It is in the Mission Deep Discord server, right? So it says, save, don't die. Quick! Someone who has the internet, look up Alex Kidd in Miracle World for the Sega Master System and see if there are controller combination cheats that maybe could, uh, you know, start us on a later... Oh, no, 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 okay. I'm way over in the corner. Ooh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy, they do not give you much room to move. How am I supposed to get... How am I supposed to do this? This game is brutal. This game is brutal. <laughs> Taz says, nah, someone, someone who has the internet. Well, while, while we do that, I'm going to look up this real quick to see what Skits has for us here in this... Transformers music. Transformers. More than meets the eyes. Oh, did they get Wordler fixed? Because I, I tried to play Wordler easier earlier. Working. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't have the right commands. There we go. All right. Skit says, did you put it in music, Skits? Is that where it was at? Let's see. Music. Ooh, I see some Irish ba Oh, Irish bacon jam. We gotta pull that up for a... Uh... Look at that. Look at that, Zoe. 
Rev telling us there is no bacon jam, at least not here. The only bacon jam Irish bacon jam. Mmm, mmm, good. Mmm, mmm, good. Uh, 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 die happy man. Oh, is this it? Is this? Oh, this is it, Skits. I see it. Dare to be stupid. Uh, that would be Dare to be stupid by the Cybertronic Spree. Dare to be stupid. That is a. Is that a Weird Al take? Hold on a second. Let me. Let me put that on the right feed here. Right now, it's just coming into my ears, and you guys can't hear it. And then I probably just gave you a hearts my attack. Oh, yeah. This looks familiar. I think I've seen them do something else. I don't think I've seen them do this one. But I recognize these guys. I've seen them do some stuff before. You haven't seen this one. All right, this. Oh, <laughs> I'm playing the music so you guys can hear the music, but then you can't see the video. So here, let me let me do that again. How about let's do this again? So it's dare to be stupid. We'll just do the first couple of seconds here, so we don't get no copyrighty strikeies. Devo did Dare to be Stupid. That's what I was kind of thinking. But they, did, they had like a weird... Why did I know a weird owl was going to show up at the beginning then? Mr. Whipple, Mr. Sharman, Mr. Whipple. There you go, Skiss. Thank you so much for that. Yes, I need to put that on my faves. Dare to be stupid. Yeah, Dare to be Stupid was uh, an original song by Al, but based on Devo sound, right? I remember this. Yeah, that this, of course, this is a... That video, but Dare to be Stupid is an, an old song, but I, that cover is not right. I think that's right. Dare to be stupid. Puppy Kitten Shroud, right. Weird Al doing Devo. Correct. He does make a cameo. He makes a cameo in the video. Was that really Weird Al? It's so hard to tell now. All right. Did anybody use the internet to see if we could do some, if we could do some things? I'm going to see if there's any cheats. Alex Kid with two Ds. Two Ds. Why am I so blue, by the way? I, I don't think I have my... I mean, I don't think I have my light set to being more blue or anything. But for some reason, I look very blue tonight. But I also have adjusted a lot of stuff over time. My white balance is off. Because usually I have the CRTs running in the background. And I don't right now. So... Probably when I set the white balance, it is probably all kinds of off now. So let's see. Let's see if we can change to auto white balance. Oh, now, you know, that is really blue. I got to get my white balance uh, sheet out. I have a little pop thing, little little popper thing that pops and does that. Daylight's not too bad. At least the whites look more white, even though I look like I am jaundice. But at least the whites are fairly close. That may be closer, but that's on a cloudy day. Oh, wow. <laughs> Trying to seriously compensate for some incandescent light there. That's not right. That's not right. That's not too bad. Somewhere in between, still a little too blue. Yeah, definitely going to get my... Definitely going to get my kit out and do some adjustments with... Out the CRTs running. Usually when the CRTs are running, it's a little different. All right, let's see. 
we'll just get as close as we can and we'll just deal with it. Unless you guys want me to look like I'm a toy warm. How about that? How about some toy norm? Toy norm? Toy cool? To oh, toy cool? How about some uh, posterior? A little bit of pop? No, how about this? So we got a retro in here too. Where's this retro at? Oh, there we go. There's some retro. Which I don't think is that retro. Black and white. Toy C. Oh, that's not too bad. What is that toy green? I don't like any of these. That's too much. Get out of here. Enough of that already. I'm going to go to the also the lighting. To, oh, another thing too. Oh, I know. Oh, I was just a moron. I got all this blue screen of Alex Kid in my face probably casting all this blue as well. So yeah, of course. That's not helping either. Welcome to Brian's try to get his color right. Close enough. Need scan lines. That's right. Devo talking about dare to be stupid is amazing. Oh, I have to I have to bookmark that. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that up, Saint Slurpee. I'm gonna I'm gonna add that to my list to watch later. Watch later. Oh, I was actually on the internet for a reason. I was looking to see. At the game over screen, hold up. Oh, okay, here you go. <laughs> Web says, why are you blue? Um, oh, he's at the end of it, Skits. Okay, at the, at the dare to be stupid uh, thing. I got you. Uh, Weird out. Skits, at the game over screen, hold up on the control pad and press O. Oh, press O? Eight times. Be quick. You will restart the stage with three lives, but it costs $400 to do only code I could find. Interesting. So, hold up on the control pad and press O. What is O? <laughs> I've got one start and two. I mean, the buttons are O's. Pr press O. And press zero? O eight times? I copy pasted, right, Skits? I don't know. We'll try that. Well, let's let's read that again. Let's make sure I got it. Um, hold up and then hit eight times. Okay, so let's try it. But I don't know how the eight. Okay, let's do it. It cost you four hundred dollars, but that's fine. All right. Rah, 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 rah. What's he eating there? Is he eating? I think he's eating a bowl of rice. Oh, that was bad. You definitely want to start right away and grab that. Get over here. Flick over this. Initiate that. Just press it, Brian. Jeez, man. Don't you know? I'm a kid. Wee. Um, what if I shoot this? Oh, he still comes in. He still he still appears. Oh, and I jump right on him. I tried to jump past him, but it didn't happen. Ain't that a bunch of crap? I'm supposed to, oh, I'm supposed to. Uh-oh. Have I put myself in a no-win situation here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. I, I might be able to hit it. Okay. Holy Moses, that is... There we go. Woo! Oh. We're going to start me back in the same spot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This game's such a cheat. Another side said button, too. Nope, just the three. We'll try it again, though. Good thing this is a tight jam. Oh, it kind of... Oh, do you see it kind of arc a little bit? That was cool when I was falling. That was pretty cool. All right, got to be careful here. This is just, I'm just going to avoid this entire area. That's just the safest method by which to get away with this, right? Maybe you have to have 400 to be able to do that cheat. Maybe that's another thing too. So maybe I need 400 to be able to do it. Oh my gosh. Ah! 
Now I died. Did I lose my points? Looks like I didn't gain any for sure. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. It's on the you died screen. What? Are those back? What? Oh, I'm looking at score. So is it 60 money bags? So is that 60 not attached to that little star thing there? What is the star thing? Oh boy. Oh. Money. Let's take a look at this now. Yeah, okay, so the the money is coming in. Okay, I see. Alright. So each of those is worth about what? Ten apiece? The big ones are worth ten? Looks like the big ones are worth ten. Okay. Oh man. What happens if you can can you like you can't jump out of the water once you get in. Oh, I said, damn it, now I'm going to play this. Now, I also have the DX version, which is the new version. It was on sale on Steam not just recently. We'll have to take a look at it before we, before we cut out tonight. We'll have to take a look at it. Okay, 115. Yeah, you will, Coffee. Coffee's my good, my good retro buddy who can't resist a good retro time. Just can't do it. All right, I love this frog, though. I don't know what kind of magical, mystical fighting frog he is, but I love him. Okay, so let's take a look here. Do I need to like swim past him as quickly as possible and get above him? And then where will those bubbles go to? Okay, so that's probably the safest spot to just go straight up. So wait for him to shoot the bubblies. All right, then kind of get over here. Ooh, I don't think I can do that. Oh, ooh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, oh my gosh. Oh, okay, there we go. Ooh, boy, that is real tight. I really like that piranha looking fish there. He is really hilarious. Now, with that being said, he is definitely going to kill me. And I'm going to be sad. Uh oh. I got a question mark on this one. What is that above that? Why does that one have like a black box on it? Oh, what happened? What, what, oh, is that the exit? Oh, it's the shop. It's the shop. Are you playing on your mini? Was this on the mini? Which one? Like the... Did they have it on the Genesis? There's no mini. You know, that's where everybody always asks. It's like, I want the next mini. What do you want? Everybody's like, I want the Shadow. I want the Dreamcast. Why doesn't anybody yell? I want the Master System. Oh, the Miu Mini. Okay, okay, Miu Mini too. Okay. Because I will tell you, I didn't have an NES. I was not a Nintendo bro. All right, I was not a Nintendo bro. I was a Sega Master System guy. I wasn't an Apple guy. I was a Commodore sixty four. I wasn't an Amiga. I wanted to be, but I was a Commodore 64 guy. I wasn't a Tandy. I wasn't an Atari 8-bit system. I wasn't any of those things. I was Commodore, VIC-20, 64, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis. I um, never had an Atari except for the Atari Pong 2-player. That's my introduction to video games. Um, and then after that, I went to the PlayStation 1. And then the Xbox, never had a PS2. Um, eventually got a PS3, but I was mostly locked into the Xbox. I stayed mostly Xbox. So that's kind of my lineage there. Commodore, Sega, PlayStation for a minute, and then Xbox. You may notice, unintentionally, some of those are American companies. Sega was... American company, even though there was Sega Japan, who probably arguably maybe ran better business. 
<laughs> it was in Japan anyway, but it was an American-owned company, right? Uh, Taz says, I'm just not familiar with Sega and all their consoles. I had a Genesis, and that's it. Not a problem. I don't know their order and their uh, clunky names. Right. Japan had the Mark, the Sega Mark 1, 2, 3, which I believe is just the Master System, which was then sent out through the world. Um, I think it was the Master System, both in the U.S. and in Europe. And then we moved on to the Genesis or Mega Drive, as it was called in Europe. Um, and then, of course, we moved into the Sega. Well, we had a couple little hiccup starts there. We had the uh, 32X and the CD uh, add-ons, which were more than just simple add-ons. Some of them had different process, had more processing power, different mediums. It it was it was a lot different. It was more than just. It was sad they weren't just standalone upgrades, but they weren't just accessories either. Um, then we moved into the Sega Saturn, which I never had, and now I do, and I love it. It's one of my most favorite. It's one of my most favorite machines. Is my Sega Saturn? I've been playing with that a lot lately. Um, I really missed out there, and then of course I already love the Dreamcast. One of my favorites. And then Nintendo finally had the solution to get me involved. I had acquired Nintendo systems over time from people who were like, okay, I'm tired of playing with this. You can just have it. But I never went out and bought any Nintendo stuff until until they got poisoned by the ideology of what Xbox, PlayStation, and Sega to a lesser degree at that point uh, were selling, which was game consoles geared more towards, you know, 20-somethings. 30 somethings. GameCube, baby. GameCube. I loved it. Still love the GameCube. Still one of my favorite systems. When I say Slurpee, love me some GameCube. So, right now, this past week, I've been playing my Nintendo uh, GameCube. Uh, I have my Game Boy Player on it. Never had that um, until recently. And uh, played some Pokemon for the first time. Uh, and I've been playing uh, Nights into Dreams, uh, the Christmas version, which I love. Found it uh, quite enjoyable last year around this time and uh, went back for seconds. Loved it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's go shopping. Let's see what we can pick up here. Okay, so we can get a motorcycle. Uh, or or I don't know if that's a ring or a belt. I'm assuming it's some kind of boomer ring. Please buy the things that you like, says my friend. Says I have 160. I'm assuming that is the symbol for yen. Can someone confirm that that is the symbol for yen? I can afford the ring. The, uh, what is, what is the doctor, uh... What is Doctor Strange? Sling ring. I can afford. I can afford a sling ring. Uh, I cannot afford a mini bike, but I can afford a lampshade. I can afford a lampshade. What do you think? Oh, is that a mystery aspirin on the right? That's, an, that's also another good one. I said aspirin or a lampshade. Let's see what we have here. I've never. I haven't messed with the lampshade before. So let's 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 hop to it. Let's. There it is. Thank you. What a what a cool way to enter in. Integrate that, right? I love it. All right. So I guess we now need to switch into our uh, pause system because I'm assuming we'll need to equip this. Now, the question is, will it also de-equip the thing I had or is this a single use? Is this a use? You use it um, and then it's gone. All right. Oh, and now I am flashing. Is this a temporary thing? Good, because here comes the scorpions. Oh, oh, he can't. He can't even. He can't, okay, so it is temporary. Oh, that was expensive for... That was expensive for just a minute. I love... Man, I love the sprites in this game, though. Holy Moses, this is fan-freaking-tastic. Oh, no, right into what I assume is some kind of acid sludge. All right, now I have invincibility for just a second or two there, which is good. Okay, now I'm seeing the value of the value, right? Man, if we had had that dirt bike. Can you imagine if we had had that dirt bike? Monchichi. Oh, I can see that. I can see that. So the, those don't know. 
Yes, uh, uh, a Manchichi. I know what you're talking about. It does very much remind me of that because it's based on that the Monkey King, right? Like Dragon Ball and all that stuff. Very popular uh, in Japan during this time. If you've never seen a Manchichi, we will share it and you will probably go, oh yeah, I know what those are. Remember these? Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> oh, look at that. Holy Moses. I need... I need Stitch in a Monchichi. I did not know this existed. Oh my God. That is so freaking cute. But you're probably like me. You grew up with these scary, this scary thing here. This is, this is the ones that I remember, right? This is the, this is the old, old school, uh, that you would, that you would see growing up most likely that we probably most are familiar with, but oh my God. Did you see that though? That was just so freaking sweet that, oh my gosh, I love it so much. I'm about to add that to my uh, Walmart wish list. I don't have one of those. God, I love that. That is just two dorbs. Two dorbs. Right? Satan Slurpee loved it. Uh, what, what is, what, so does Tonda, what did Tonda do? So speaking of Tonda, Tonda grew up with the TurboGrafx-16. Now I have no nostalgia for the TurboGrafx-16, but I have had an opportunity uh, to see it at a local retro game shop called Game Cash up in Anderson, um, a local retro game store. Uh, and it is on my list to get this next year, I hope. So for those who are keeping count, all right, so I knocked, okay, so if I knock him off, he'll keep falling. Okay. And I can smack, I can smack him right in the kisser. Is there nothing more, I think it's pretty appropriate to call a frog uh, with, a, with a kiss face like that his kisser. I think I'm going to do it, yeah. Turbo Graphics 16 game is about $100, correct. That's about right. Now, is that complete? I think I've seen some, I've seen loose carts. So a uh, lots of times I will forgo, for, forgo the collectability because I'm not a, I'm not a collector for the sakes of an investment financially. I'm in it for the game. So if I get a TurboGrafx 16 machine, which I saw a whole bunch of TurboGrafx games loose. You can pick them up fairly reasonably, especially some of the less popular, uh, but nonetheless highly distributed games. Like I said, Alex Kid, this I think I paid somewhere between $14 and $16 with a loose cart. If you want to get this complete in box, not even in great shape, just complete in box, manual game box. Box art is trash. I'm not going to lie for the Master System and his trashy, weird looking. Uh, cover bar, cover box, you know, it's 50, $60. So yeah, if you're a collector, you're going to be disappointed if you're trying to collect for financials. Tonda the emotes are from his, oh yeah. See, I got to, oh yes, yes. I've got to update my emotes. Actually, I've got a, I picked up a, um, oh man, I was like, really, I, I really tried there. Um, no, it's up, it's up, it's up, it's up. Oh, oh so it's your, your, the die screen. So there's not a thing where it says this die. So when you're dying, you maybe need to do that. Maybe you need to be doing the pushing when I'm dying and not at the game over screen. I want unicycle copter. <laughs> Whatever. You just, you just want to see the game. Whatever. Lame. <laughs> Priceception. <laughs> we want to see the game that you're playing. Whatever. 
All right, now I know the value. Now I understand why I'm collecting this monies. Now I now I have a now I'm going to collect the money. All right, there we go. All right. <laughs> but yes, We'll have to look up that Saint Serpent to see where the TurboGrafx-16 games. I really have had fun playing some of those games, so I don't have a lot of nostalgia for it. Um, but let's do the rundown real quick in our heads, if we can. Let's see what we what we have and has not on our systems here. Uh, and if you also had these systems, let me know. Uh, I know a lot of our our people uh, out there uh, do collect, and not necessarily even collect for you know for financial gain, just to collect because it's, you know they're gonna have it, like me. Let's see. For the we kind of mentioned the 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 Sega stuff already, so I have every Sega system except for the Sega CD, and I don't. I I have all U.S. releases of Sega products. The only one this well, still that's not true either. So I'm missing the Sega CD, and I'm missing the Nomad. I do have a Game Gear, but it's not functional. But I believe with a recap kit, I may be able to bring it back to life. Um, but I'll probably replace the screen too. Oh, shoot. Yeah, so Nomad and the CDX is what I'm missing. I think I still have a Sega CD somewhere, says Max Trollbot. I has it. Oh, there's a ghost in here, right? Um, oh shoot! Quick, hurry! There we go. And uh, I almost, I almost, I had the option. Um, when I went to Game Cash, I had the option between um getting the Sega Master System with Light Gun. Or I could have gotten uh, the base kit with the CD. Sega CD. I have one Sega CD game. Um, I had no Master System games before I bought the system. Uh, but then I had to get Shinobi. That's that's a that was a necessity for me. The Shinobs. Yeah, the power base converter, whatever they called it, the it has the you know it. I have a model one and a model two of the Sega Genesis, so I I've, I've got options. I mostly run my model two though, um, so I'll I probably will go with that one, simply because the sound is better on that one. I think think if I remember correctly. There's a reason why I went with the stay with the Model 2. Oh my gosh, what is this Mario? You can't jump on top of him, Alex. Time to get the Model 3, baby. So I'm pretty close to finishing my Sega collection, which is good because they stopped it at some point. So right? Oh, and I've got like all the minis. I've got the Sega uh, Sega Mini One and the and the two, both the Japanese and the American versions. Now there are some things I still need for the Sega systems and stuff. Like I don't have the Sega 3D controller, which is a shame because I love Nights into Dreams. Never played it back in the day, but have become a huge fan since then. Uh, at first, understanding the gameplay it is such a unique game. And how it plays. And, uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Skit says if my nephew didn't break it when they were young, my mom had a Model 3 somewhere. Oh, nice! Nice! Model 3s also never got a PS1, PS O N E. That little white thing they had. Oh, but I would love to have one. That and the little. Oh, shoot! The little oh dang I got a foot, the one with the little uh, little flip up screen and stuff, those always look cool. I can only get the three button controller, says Satan Serpy. Were you four buttons or six button Genesis controller fan? I I didn't play a lot of fighting games on the. Uh, look at that man! I wish I had the bike. Look at that! Holy crap, Aronis! Look at that! What? Now that is the way to play Alex Kid. 
with your little mini bike. Now, I didn't have, I, didn't, I wasn't big into the fighting game, so I, I had six buttons, but typically the three button was fine. I usually didn't end up using the uh, all six buttons until more recently. <laughs> Why do you need a new controller? We have controller at home. Go get the three button controller, Satan. I feel you. I feel like Sega took just as many risks with controller designs in Nintendo. We forget that. Yeah, we do. They did some stuff. Because that 3D controller, I think, didn't it predate? I think the 3D controller predated the uh, N64 controller, right? I'm not sure on that. By the way, my love for the GameCube controller is real. It's not a hot, it's not a hot opinion. But I like that little C-stick nub. It's all good. I love how I love how colorful it is, but it still seems mature. Something so cool about the GameCube controller. It fits in my hands so well. It's just, oh, it's just it's creamy. Love it. Amy says, sorry, Brian. Had a call to do Brian. What? Oh, I do have a question for Brian. Oh, you got a question for me, Avian. Go ahead. Does other Brian have a pile of shame? <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm assuming we're talking about Brian Ibbets. Does other Brian have a pile of shame? You know he does. That man is also a collector of things. But he likes knickknacks and doodads. And he likes vinyl. That's a pretty solid collection. He's got some audiophile stuff. He did DJ work for a while. So he's got some pretty cool stuff in that area. Um, but I don't think he's, I don't think he's as, as pointed as I am with my collection of retro stuff. Now he has certainly has his own collection of stuff. It's really cool. Vinyl, huge in the music as he should be Coverville. Um, but I think most of his other stuff is just like, you know, Oh, I like X-Men stuff, you know? And it's like, I like Marvel stuff. And he's got a bunch of that cool stuff. He's got 3d printed stuff. You know, he's a, he's a junkie just like the rest of us. He's a nerd junkie. Oh yeah, he's painting models, getting into that. I am just now. He's he's a good bit ahead of me with uh, printing models, and now he's moved on to. Is, is, there's a, there's a progression when you become a 3D printer. I'm not becoming a physical 3D printer, but I am a person who uses a 3D printer. There's a progression. When you first get it, when you first get it, you're just amazed. Oh my god, I just printed out a cube. That's crazy. And then you figure out, oh. I can print out flexible stuff or print in place stuff. And what that is, is just really quick, uh, easy to set up. You just, you just hit the button and it, and it prints, right? It's way cool. And you know, it's not a lot of effort, but then eventually you get to a place where you're like, uh, where you want something more. And so you print something a little cooler and then you start getting really into really complex models. And that's like cool for a while. And then finally you complete your journey and you have to start, you have to start admitting to yourself. You're just printing a bunch of stuff and it doesn't have any value until you really paint it. And when I say value, I mean like personal value. It's like, okay, no one cares about seeing my 3d print my raw mold 3d print nobody cares about it you got to get in there and paint that bad boy so that's where he's at i'm i'm right behind him though because i'm started painting my models too i'm learning how to dry brush max trollbot says sega 3d controller was 1996 which would be one year after the playstation one release which would be really close to the time that the 3D controller released 796 Sega 3D. So that's really close to the N64. Really close. Hmm. So it's it's hard to tell without going to look. Just trying to figure it out in my head. It's real close. I don't know who inspired who. Oh. St. Serpy says, I would love a 3D printer just for D&D minis, but probably not worth it just for that. So I got into 3D printing because uh, retro gaming uh, 
Uh, it requires display a lot of times and displays on Etsy for a lot of retro gaming. It's kind of expensive. Um, expensive enough that I could justify a $200 FDM printer because I was spending $50 a pop on, um, you know, on display things for my systems. So, you know, how many, you know, how many displays do I need to, to print before I, I can, I recover my money on that? Not very long. September 29th, 1996 for Nintendo. So Sega wins. Now, that's not to say they weren't both working and watching and spying on one another. But yeah, release. That's what I was thinking. I thought release was a little earlier on the 3D controller for the Sega. So good. Confirmed. My memory has not failed me like two months. Coffee says I just printed a gun pine style model in the frame, etc of an ATST. Nice. Another test, but all seem to do is print it. Right. You'll get past that part, right? So yeah, that's, like I said, I, I am right at the threshold of doing something more. Um, I assume my next, my next things will be to, ah, gah, 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 gah. Well, can I hide this side or they give me, no, give me that side. Whew, that is a, that is a complex movement. Uh, for this. That is a complex move. So I guess if you took the risk here and hit that block, you'd probably have a better chance getting above him, but you're going to be frozen for a second, so it's still going to be a timing issue. Okay, so maybe this is the best way to manage this consistently. Oh, no! Alright, right, right, right. Okay. Now that I'm up in this corner, I'm okay. So my next step, being an artist and 3D modeler, I like to model 3D things in 3D. I've been doing it forever uh, for other things. But now is my opportunity to make some 3D stuff for real. So I figure that's what I'll do. I'll move on to painting, learn how to do that a little bit, then start designing my own things. So, oh, sh Shinobi, Shinobi! I punched the dang ghost. Yeah, will to call it a tie. It's pretty close. Yeah, like I said. Yes, it was very close. I, you know, they were probably feeding off each other. There was probably something else going on that was probably informing that. There was probably another company that was probably doing something similar, and they both just stole the idea. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. But you know, who get it? Who get it to market first was the real question, right? Coffee says, once I fix my mistake of installing Clipper and get this thing printing nicely again. Oh my gosh, did did it did it sidetrack you? Oh, absolutely, Avon. I've I've done that a little bit this uh for the dry painting stuff. I've I've learned a good bit. Matter of fact, I got some supplies that should be here tomorrow. It'll hopefully help me out a little bit. Um, like uh, texture palettes. And I've got some uh I've got some dry brush round dry brushes. I already had some small pointy brushes, but then when I started doing the dry brush and I was like, wait, this is not going to work out with these little brushes. So I need something that's little, like a little, they're little round brushes. Typically we can kind of shove it in there a little bit into the nooks and crannies. Oh yeah. I have some stuff I've made in the past, Avian. Um, just nothing I felt was complete. So I'm, I'm working on that. Actually, that was one of the reasons why I got uh, my 3D headset. So I could use Gravity Sketch so that I could model things in uh, the Oculus Quest at the time. Then I moved on to the Meta Quest 2. And now I've got the Meta Quest 3. And every time I always load up Gravity Sketch and go in there and design stuff and fiddle or fiddle fart around and learn how, you know, how the tools work. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Eye makeup brushes, Brian. That's true. It's kind of like the eye makeup brushes. You're right. Talk to the wife for elf brushes, right? For uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Audrey would not sacrifice any of those for me, so we had to order some. We had to order some. Right, say it's urban. They all just copied the joystick from the Atari 2600, right? I'm sure there's a story there on what exactly technology was 
was going around. I'm sure there's a story there somewhere. I am curious. Coffee says, I have a 2010 version of SolidWorks I got while I was at uni at the time. I'm comfortable with SolidWorks and it still runs fine. But what is a good modeling software now that doesn't look like MS Paint or Blender? Wow, yeah. Blender, uh, it is a long path on Blender. It is a long path, but it's it really is the way to go in the end of the day. Really, I just had a I had to watch a bunch of videos to learn what I didn't need. Blender's over-engineered because it's supposed to be a tool for everything 3D. But for most of the time, just modeling is way overkill. And so you get lost in all the little little things. It's overcomplicated. So yeah, I watched a bunch of videos on how to use just the parts that I would be using for designing for 3D modeling and stuff for uh for printing. So yeah, um, but I do. I mean, if you like if you like organic, I mean, if you have a VR headset of any sort and can use Gravity Sketch, that's a very organic way to create uh, 3D models. Skit says Dallas do makeup brushes. The brushes that ordered were only like they got three round brushes off Amazon for like seven bucks or something. So I mean, and they're supposed to be good and durable and high quality. So you know, because I had thought about it because we got a Dollar General at the row, but I last time I looked at their makeup brushes, you know, they were you know three four dollars. <laughs> oh, a uh, cheap chemist makeup brush. Set in, oh, yeah, it's an essential tool. I use them for cleaning, dusting electronics. Yes, it is. I'm okay with Blender once I have the base vector, especially organic forms. Yeah, engineering designs, I haven't seen anything better than SolidWorks. Probably so, yeah, because even the gravity sketch is not going to give you a lot of good engineering designs. Most of the stuff I do is organic stuff. You know, I, I like character design more than anything. Is Maya still used for 3D modeling? It used to be the big boy, I thought. Yeah, I like Maya and all that stuff. 3D Studio Max, all of that stuff. I, I think they still have their place, but I, I think it's mostly only at like studios. And a lot of studios have started building their own thing and everything else. But yeah, I think if you're working with Maya, you're you're working at like with server farms and stuff. That's that's where those things really shine. Um so I probably wouldn't start with the Maya or that kind of stuff for 3D modeling, but once you get to a certain size, yeah, that kind of stuff is good. It's industrial grade. You know, it, you can handle all that that heavy duty stuff. That heavy duty stuff, Max Trollbot just became hero. Number one, giving out five community subs. Thank you so much, Max Trollbot. Look at you. Did, I think it might have even pushed us to our sub goal. The 68 out of 70. Look at that, Ziggurat. Congratulations. And once again, thanks to Max Trollbot. Daedalus. B. Mogu, Cold Cash, The Berm. You guys have just got a love bomb over here. From our good friend, Max Trollbot. Giving out that community sub for December the 12th, 1212, 2023. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Bop, Slintis is here. And Al3. I think it's supposed to be Alex. I think Alex changed his name around. Made it weird. Made it weird. But look at that. Max said, you know what? Too short. Too short. Life is too short. And Max Trollbot came through and hit us at our 70 total subs. We did it. Kava was about to pull the trigger too late. Couldn't do it as fast as the Max Trollbot. He's a Trollbot for a reason. He's got bot in the name. When he goes, when he goes on uh, Google and he gets challenged with those those bot things, he loses every time. <laughs> Super fast. Super fast. Thank you so much, Max. Amazing. Having so much fun. Oh, if you're not part of the Discord server, anybody within the, the sound of my voice tomorrow night, I'm hoping for a little Christmas miracle. <laughs> hoping for a little Christmas miracle. We've got uh, a watch party scheduled for tomorrow night, Wednesday, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to watch a uh, Christmas vacation on video cassette tape. Um, 
hoping this may be an annual tradition of some sort we can do. Uh, so if you get a chance, stop on by the Discord server with a watch party. Um, and, the, and the Christmas miracle I'm hoping for is originally the... Uh, just like in the movie... Just like in the movie, Chevy Chase waiting on that Christmas bonus because he's already stuck his neck out waiting on the Christmas bonus, hoping that it arrives on time because that thing is now saying it's going to be delivered on Thursday. But I've been watching it moving through the Postal Service and it should be here tomorrow. Now, with that being said, who knows what's going to happen? But... I have a contingency plan. We're still going to watch Christmas Vacation. And it's still going to be the VCR version. But I've got a, I've got a copy. There's a, there's a, if you've ever been to archive.org, there is a, uh, there is it's just a whole bunch of VHSs that have been uploaded in the last year or so. And someone has uploaded the Christmas Vacation VHS, complete with uh, trailers and everything up top. And I'm going to transfer that to videotape tonight before I go to bed. So I've got some blank video cassette tapes. That's right, I've got blank video cassette tapes. I'm going to transfer those video cassette version to a video cassette tape, just in case. Hopefully, though, when I come home tomorrow, there will be there will be a Christmas miracle, and it'll be there, and we won't have to worry about it. But if not, we've got a contingency. So we're still watching that VCR version, Christmas Vacation. Please do not go and kidnap your boss, Avian. You're correct. I will do my best. I will do my best. Uh, Puppy Kitten Travis is perfect. I watched the first 30 minutes a few nights ago. I can finish with friends. That's right. I meant with Twitch. I use the BTTV Twitch app. Any payment stuff jumps to browser or the vanilla app. Oh, really? Yeah, the G, the G Show, I've used that some. Android's such a good, so good for the later generation of emulation, like the N64 stuff. You're waiting for the HD DVDs to become retro cool again? Satan Slurper, let me tell you what. They already are. I just need more of the media. I think I only have one movie right now. So this is the Xbox HD DVD, um, which plugs into my Xbox 360. Um, and I just need some more medium, which is which shouldn't be too hard, right? Yeah. And it's already retro cool, bruh. <laughs> I've got to pick up a few at least. Maybe that's next Christmas. We also have... I don't know if I told you this guys or not, but uh, a friend of mine brought over laser disc player. So now we have laser disc. Um, I was actually watching uh, Demon Knight. So there's our laser disc player back here next to our little RCA screen TV. So we've got a we've got a nice big old giant laser disc player that makes a bunch of noise and goes. <laughs> but it's a Sony and it's a it's a. It's a, a disc flipper, so it's, it can it can flip disc for us. So that's coming soon as well. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Philips, right? Is this Philips? Xbox, Microsoft, or use the Xbox 360 console, made in China. Made in China. I wonder if there's a disc in here. All things vintage and retro right here. On. You know what I do like though? This is a really good game for streaming because, you know, I can just, I can just flat out just stop here, you know, just let it sit for a while. Did I pick up the... I keep forgetting to equip 
Yeah, I keep forgetting to equip this thing after I get it. Boop! Boop! Saint Super says, I have a few. I have an old full size Panasonic player. Yes. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Or maybe Phillips. I got you. Oh, look at that. That felt good. Oh, that is a good feeling. Oh, I hate that you lose the thing once you get in the water. That's a bunch of BS. Ooh. Well, that was close. Nee. Yeet! Burn it! Roll it down, buddy. There you go. I was so stoked to find out I could play Sega Master System games on my Mega EverDrive X7 cart. That is amazing. I do want an EverDrive, but I missed it. And so now they're so friggin' expensive. I'm like, why are these things so expensive? I get it and all, but come on. Cut me a break, would you? Cut me just a little break. I was into retro stuff as a kid by necessity. It was the only stuff we could afford, yeah. That's kind of how it was about Nintendo stuff. Like I said, I never, I never first owned anything until, um, till later. That's right. All things vintage retro, including the peanut gallery coffee. <laughs> oh my God. I, not too long ago, had to, uh, do the disc swap thing on the, on that Sega Saturn back there. That's the, that is the most asinine thing in the world. Having to do the, uh, having to do that, trying to switch. Ugh, such a pain. I bought an Apple IIe at a flea market in 1995 with my $50 birthday money. Wish I still had it. I had an Apple IIe as well, and I had one of the first, like, I remember I was like one of the first generations of the Macintosh and stuff. I think I had like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I loved that stuff. Even then, I was the same way. And that was about, you know, it was back in the day. Now, the Apple IIe, did that have Karateka on it? Karateka. Karateka. I'm looking at the Mega Mega EverDrive X7 right now. Because I really want one. I mean, I have lots of carts, man. I have so many Sega Genesis carts. But it'd be so nice to be able to do the things you can't get. Because, like I said, I, I like the experience. The retro to me, the retro experience... I don't necessarily have to have the console. It's nice to have the console that runs in time, synced with everything. So real hardware is really good at that. FPGA is really good at that too. That's the emulation. That's the hardware emulation level instead of the software emulation level. And it gives you a really good interpretation of that. Really responsive, really snappy. But then of course, you gotta, it's kind of expensive really. I mean, by the time you get a good one and you get snack ports that allows you to plug in the controller because that's where the real retro to me where the stuff is that really where you really have that experience re-experience is having that controller in your hand and feeling that controller that's the retro feeling to me seeing the stuff on screen that's pretty cool but that that's retro adequate emulation performance is found in e-waste these days true story um I, I, I saw an HP Pavilion today, a really old one. One of those is a time when they used to make those. It was a 98. It was a Windows 98 machine. Um, I wasn't sure if the drive was good. I think they wanted like like 10 or 20 bucks for it. And I was like, ah, what am I going to do with that? Am I going to go through all the trouble of you know, tech shooting the hard drive? The hard drive's no good. Am I going to have to order one? Am I going to install Windows 98? Like, ah, I don't know if I want to do all that. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do all that, but I was interested for a minute. I was interested. Yep, that's what I have. I bought it direct from, uh, Chris, yeah, Krizik. I never can say it. Krikzies, a few years back. 
Um. So, uh, I am. Where'd it go? Right. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, that's because I pulled the other thing back up. I'm a moron. I'm a moron. I'm a moron. Where'd it go? There it is. Um. There's no price in this thing though. X5, X3. Yeah, with that one right there. That's the one I want right there. Our products, downloads, information. Our products, products. Does it just mean it's not purchasable currently? Accessories, legacies, cartridges. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, see, like, like it really makes sense to get the Turbo Graphics EverDrive because I probably could pick up a few games. But then it's gonna get complicated. Then it's gonna get complicated. Uh, the Mega Drive is still two fifty nine. See, I, I remember when these first. I, I remember when I first started looking for one of these. People were complaining like, "Oh man, this bought mine for like eighty dollars. What happened to the prices?" And they shot up. <laughs> um, even the low end one is what like one thirty four. Yeah, people were get, picking them up for. Oh wait a minute, here's the X three maybe. What was the deal with the X3? What was so limited rewrite count? Okay, so 100,000 times. Okay, come on. 100,000 times. That's fine. Um, Instant loading. Not instant loading. Interesting. Audio playback. Sega CD. Run cart. Interesting. Extended. Hardware mega key. I'm not going to be happy unless I have the big one, all right? I'm only gonna be happy if I get the big one. Right? You know me. You know me. I'm only gonna be happy if I get the big one. X5. What's the X5 again? There's too much stuff to choose from. I don't understand how to read all this stuff. So, what's the difference between the X5? Okay, unlimited lifespan. This X5 isn't bad. So what is, what's the difference? And which one did you say you had? Yeah, say it's Slurpee. And then you need a Retro Tink 4K for $750. Luckily. Keelhaw, what's up? Alex Kid in Shinobi World is an amazing game. That's the first time I had ever been introduced to Alex Kid was there. This is the first time I've played Alex Kid proper in Miracle World. What's up, Key Hall? What's going on? Drag from... Okay, so... Uh, another comparison device is okay. Ah, man. What am I... Mega SD? Mega EverDrive Pro? See, I've got so many cards for the Sega... For the... Uh, for the Genesis. I have, a, I have a lot of games, and they're still fairly affordable. It's just loose carts. I prefer to have the carts if I could, but it would be nice to play some of those things I can't get. But at two hundred fifty dollars, maybe I should just get those things I can't get because eh, starting to get pretty close. Because most of the stuff that I can't get is like a hundred dollars. How many of those must has that has to has? Yeah, it is Ukraine. So he's got a, a, a little bit. He's got a little bit. His true story. Ukraine is where all the retro tech stuff is happening, man. Like the, uh, the, uh, Saturn Core for the Mr. FPGA. Is that the same guy, maybe? Yeah, for all that other stuff, just use your hammer, Nick. That's true. Let me tell you what Alex Kid cannot do. He cannot get in a hurry. You do not want to get Alex Kid in a hurry, yo. You will fail. Right. Coffee says, yeah, those are for someone like me who has kids. It was basically glue one card in. Just do glue it in and do it. I do like I like slamming a cart in a cart. <laughs> I will admit that, that feeling, part of that retro feeling, is slamming that cart into the into the console, which is not a good idea. But man, it sure does feel good. Sure does feel good. 
another thing too. I don't have a love loss for having to go back and play the same thing over and over again a million times. Because I'll play this, I'm gonna play this further. Oh, I have 250 enough for the bike! I have enough for the bike! I'm taking the bikes, baby! Of course I'm getting the bike. You sold me on that earlier. All right. Okay, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Let's go do this. Oh, we're already on the bike. Oh, it's already going. Can we stop? Oh, oh, it's going. It's going on its own. Oh my gosh. What am I supposed to do here? Just ride it out? Oh no, are you kidding me? Oh God. No. I didn't even get a chance to even learn how to drive the stupid thing. Street manager stream again. Oh my god, really? You guys didn't even see it. Oh my god, I can't believe I did something so stupid. Something so stupid, you guys didn't even get to see me trying to bike. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, that's okay. It was so disappointing. I only got to ride it for half a second, and then I ran into a scorpion, apparently, and I and I disliked that except I was on the bike. Digi Travis, what's up? Now I want to die quickly so that I can get back to getting the bike again because that was amazing for the all the two seconds I got a chance to play it. Now I'm so excited. I'm freaking messing up on top of that. Wait a minute, I'm still alive? How am I still alive? How many lives do I have? That's probably the last one, right? I'm down to one. Smack him right in the kisser. Daggum, I can't believe that. Coffee says, I'm, I'm on most audio anyway. What does it matter? It's mostly audio anyway. What does it matter? Hilarious. Can't believe I did something so stupid. Talked about that stupid bike for an hour. Then finally got it. Got something else pulled up. Boom, boom. Tell you what, though, that save state sure would come in handy right about now. Look at me getting all serious now. I made a mistake, and now I'm all serious. I can't believe I'm so stupid. Can't believe it. Jeez, it's gonna be difficult. I gotta jump and smack him in the face and then jump. Well, man, I don't have to. I could. Can I get up here? Ah, oh, no, I blew my chance there. All right, so we gotta we gotta jump, punch. Oh my gosh, we still did it though. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> this game is stressful. Oh, you you received five hundred pack of. Nut certs in the mail. Join all the things. What am I supposed to do with these things? Am I supposed to punch them or just jump on them or what? Where'd those scorpions go? All these mounds look like ice creams. Why do these mounds look ice cream? Like ice cream scoops. Who laid this stage out? Everything seems so randomly placed. I feel like I should be doing something with these balls. I mean, you have balls on screen, you should be doing something with them, right? Oh no, it's this thing again! Come on! How many times do I need to play this kind of thing here? We've already done it a few times. Can we just agree that that's a bad idea and move on? Can't believe I did that with the bike. Right, this the level is intended for the bike. <laughs> This game assumes you're gonna have it. You've you've been smart enough to save your money. You're right. You're right. This level definitely assumes the bike because it's is so much fun with the bike. If you gotta walk, it's kind of like playing Nights into Dreams. If oh man, I just kissed the frog. It's definitely like Nights into Dreams, where it's like, where it's like uh, all oh, those points, man. Like, you can fly in Nights into Dreams, right? You can fly all over the screen. It's great. It's, it's so much fun and so action-packed. And then if, you're, if your time runs out before you do all the collecting, um, then you have to walk. And oh my god. 
It's the worst. It's the worst. Yeah, Max Showbot coming through with some subs, getting us above with those gift subs, being a legendary in December. Got us above our sub goal. Oh, got 71. Thing always confuses me because I think it's down to the minute, like for 30 days. So, like, if someone subscribed 30 days ago at this hour, then it adds to it or subtracts away. If I've seen it before. You like reach the goal, like, yeah, we did it. And then five minutes later, apparently 30 days previous to that was when somebody else had subscribed and it expired. It's crazy. Time to wind things down for the night, says Satan Serpy. Hope you have a good one. We do. Thank you, Satan Serpy. Thank you for hanging out tonight, man. It's good. You guys made it a lot better. Like I said, I was not feeling good. I was in bed just thinking, nah, I'm just going to, I'm going to call it a day. This, you know, it was, it was like six o'clock. I was like, you know, I'm calling it a day. I'm just, I'm wrapping this up. And I was like, you know what? No, I got that. I got Alex kid in. Been wanting to stream it. I didn't get to do anything last night. I'm like, ah, oh, I can't do it. I can't not stream again. Boo! That's where I get my energy from. Come get my energy from you folks. Stealing it. All right, let's see what we got here. Get love, jerk. Get love. I love how he jumps. He's super cute. All right, we found the best way to tackle this area is to just wait. Because you got to do a short jump here. You don't want to jump too high. You'll jump right on that terapodactical. Actually, Taz, we've, we've given much thought to it. That's not true. We've talked about it. We got to do something special for 100. And it's like, do we want to do something special for 100? You never can't make that decision. When you're doing a podcast and you reach 100, it's always... It's always a debate. Every single freaking podcast I've ever done. When you get to 100, 200, any milestone, you just start asking the questions. Do we want to do something special? What can we do? Like with Film Sack, it was episode 300. Well, duh, we're going to watch the movie 300. It just made sense, right? Um, But yeah, 100 on uh, Play Retro, I don't know. I, we, I don't know. Forever and ever... Oh, you got something special uh, in the works for you two for one? Oh, do you really? Interesting, Taz. Hmm. Now this episode will be ninety nine, right? Is that is this ninety nine here? Yeah, this will be Alice Kid will be our ninety ninth episode of Play Retro, and so we've got to decide between now and Friday. Now I totally just missed those money in bags. Money in bags. Oh, I dag. God bless America. Hit my head. It fell straight down. God bless America. And I do the same. I do the same thing every time. You would think I'd learn. Nope. Um. Burp, burp, burp. Ye yeet. There is a Duke Nukem. Keyhaw says there's Duke Nukem One homebrew for the Master System. Really. I wonder how you run the homebrew. Do you have to have like uh, one of those ever drives what we're looking at? I haven't even thought about hacking on my master system. Like Sega Saturn, no no questions asked because I just don't, there's not enough. I can't afford the games. They're too expensive. They're just too expensive. Um, But you know, the master system, even, the, even though the games are old, there's, there's, you can find most of them re fairly reasonable for you know as long as you don't mind no box no game manual that's why you picked up the everdrive so many great homebrews I haven't, I haven't thought about that angle see now you're now you're pulling me back in you're pulling me back in i talked myself out of it and now you're talking me back in <laughs> that was close that says was close no! No! Boom, boom. Oh, gotta be careful there. Money. Do I have enough? Do I have enough to buy a motorbike? Let me just double check here. 
<laughs> no. Bah, 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 bah. Go away, fishy. Oh, you gotta be right next to it. You gotta punch it. There we go. Oh, now I got it. Now I'm thinking about it again. Please let me have enough for the motorbike. And we got it on screen so you people can see. We got 340. Yes. 340. And now it's time. Who is ready to see Brian tackle this with his motorbike? Here we go. Okay, so you gotta you just gotta keep you gotta keep Willy popping your Oh dang! Blast America sofa hit the red thing. That's where I died last time too. So is it the red thing that crashes my bike? And then I like since I stopped, then the scorpion does something? Is that what's going on? I kind of feel like that's a part of it. I kind of feel like that's a part of it. Really? Really, really game? Really? Fine. Well, that's been our look at Alex Kid. Let's let's take a look at the new one. I think I've installed it. Let's just take a quick look. Because I think there's a retro mode that you can turn in. Uh, you can turn on and play, I think. So let's see. Let's get this pulled up. This is on my Steam. On my Steam, I like Steam. Colcash, this is like Kid Icarus in reverse. Never got to play this. Well, we are in the same boat. Me either. And I only have a very limited amount of experience with Kid Icarus. Um, where is... It's in my lap. It's in my lap. There we go. Gonna switch over to our PC real quick. I guess I could fire up my Steam Deck. Oh, we gotta restart here. Bread and Fred. Look at that. Mm, the finals now for free. Yes. Let's get in that library here. Rise of the Tomb Raider installed that so that I could uh, so that I could see the VR part. Um, it is called Alex Kid, and I know I purchased it. There it is in Miracle World DX. Oh, install. Oh no. How long is this going to take? Hopefully just a minute. Oh, it's a gig. Looks like we're going to have to giga talk for a second. I've got pretty good. Okay, look, it just says 311 megabytes download. And I guess it. that's pretty, it's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. A gig ain't what it used to be. Two friends have in their wish list, Retro Trump and Hero Proc. Very interesting. All right, look at that. Boom, it's ready. That was fast enough, right? Oh, you just uh, downloaded the finals earlier. John and Bo were playing it earlier. Looks like a blast. Okay, I might have to, have to give it a try then. A game by Daniel Ortega. So we got classic mode, which we have not unlocked yet. I love the character designs, though. Those are cute. Okay, so I guess we have to get into it first. Um, options. Let's see if we can take this down to a 4x3 aspect ratio. 1280 by 720 is that. Twelve eighty by seven twenty. That's not four by three, is it? Twelve ten twenty-four by twelve eighty by ten twenty-four. That's four by three. Alright. So yeah, it's gonna it's not gonna be that size. Alright, I got you. Alright, 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 right, 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 right. Vibration says me blah 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 blah. Okay, good. Let's play this real quick. Let's see if we can unlock this. Let's see if we can unlock this uh classic mode here real quick to see if we can a long time ago on the distant planet Ares. Now, this is the story we would have got. We would have got in the. Uh, in the manual of the original. Okay, here's our character. Our titular character, Alex. Alex was not aware, but at the time, the Radiaxians region was under threat from Jenkin the Great and his minions. This is where this incredible story begins. 
Mount Eternal. Oh, nice little retro looking uh, pixelated thing. That's fine for today. Gut Roar. I think it's time to go home. I hope that Master Nurari had something delicious to eat. This is only five bucks, by the way, on Steam about a week ago. Oh, look at this. They totally went full in. This time he's got a tail. All right, I love it. I'm charmed already. We got it. We got somebody who's frozen. But look, this is very similar to the first area level. Um, okay, we already got our yins there. Got our yins. All right, we got somebody frozen, though. Let's talk to them. There was no way to escape. It was all so fast. How strange. Okay, so just tell us a little bit about the story. But like I said, so far, it's kind of like looking like the same model. There's the same ring we had earlier. Oh, we've... We've activated it now instead of going into the system, menu system. Okay, pretty faithful here. Oh, look at the look at that. You can tell these are dragging. Oh, he said ouch. Yes, yeah, same layout and everything. Look how far they go with this. Wham. Oh, we know it's in there. We know it's in there because we played this. A little easier to control. But it's got the same... Same little jump. Yeah, so if you got muscle memory from the original... You may be doing okay here. Yeah, if I've played this area like a hundred times tonight. Alright, maybe not a hundred. Half a hundred? And it's respectful to the 4x3 aspect ratio as well because... Oh, shoot! Kind of lulled me into a false sense of security there. Oh, I've already lost my... Uh... Oh my gosh, I landed in the same spot. Yeah, this is the Digitrap. This is the remake on Steam. I, I read you could play the classic... Mo oh my gosh, I did it. Eek! Oh my god! Hey, no good at this either. <laughs> Alright, let's... All right, Dad, go. That one area is so difficult. Why is that one area so difficult? I had trouble in the original too. Something about us is messing with my head. Oh, Dad, go! Did I really just zap the Orco Ghost? Ooh, ooh. Okay, so you only got to go down a little bit. Oh my gosh! You can't shoot. We can't do anything to him. Oh my God! I hate it so much. I think I'm so afraid I'm going to fall down and hit one of these guys down here because they keep. God, the timing you got to have. The patience, really, is what it is. Oh, but the dirt bike is really cool. Oh, do I have my. No, I lost it. All right. Oh, okay. There's a stone person. Okay, it scared me. Be careful. Yankin's army is very powerful. That girl, Joey, just raided the channel with 45 viewers. Welcome in, that girl, Joey. How's it going? If you're not following that girl, Joey, what are you doing with your life? Now, Joey, we just switched over to Alex Kidd and Miracle World DX just to check it out. We picked this up on Steam this past week. We've been playing Alex Kidd on our Sega Master System uh, pretty much all night. Um, and we're not any better than you ones. So, what's up, Fortnado? What is going on? All my favorite friends are here now. Look at this. Let's give a shout out to that girl, Joey. And if you're not following, like I said, if you're not following that girl, Joey, you really should be. Does amazing Amiga stuff and was doing what? Was playing some retro. Smith Mew Poop. What is up? Awesome game. You can use the save crosses. Oh, the, yeah, the cross saves. I got gotcha. you. C64 was today. Excellent. I have a Vic 20. Uh, thanks to TV's Travis in the community uh, coming my way with a cassette. Um, I've got to finish getting my Commodore 64 set up. Um, it is currently down. I have no Amiga to speak of. That's another one I want to pick up. Uh, grew up on the Commodore 64. Oh, hi. I'm Brian, and I am a retro game streamer. Uh, tonight we're doing the Alex Kidd and Miracle World on the Sega Master System. We popped over to this to the Steam version. Um, love to visit in on that girl Joey. 
Love seeing all the Commodore and Amiga stuff. Super jealous. Super jealous of all the Amiga hardware. It's amazing. It's so fun. Um, trying to get all that set up still. Also going to be sending me, TV Travis sending me a TRS, uh, is it TRS-80, I believe? The Radio Shack. Um, really interesting. I, I've got an Atari 800XL. All these things are basic. 8-bit eight, eight basic DOS, uh, which is what I grew up on. Had a lot of fun doing basic programming. I never did any assembly language. I ended up growing up and uh, being a programmer by day, but not an assembly or uh, DOS, even though occasionally I will do it. Atari! How far did you get in the SMS version? <laughs> not much further than this. I got to the dirt bike. Um, and I haven't figured out if the red things are the things that are stopping me. The, the red balls, I, I, I can't tell if I'm hitting the scorpions or the red balls that are what's stopping me. Oh my gosh. I jumped on him again. This is what kept happening uh, earlier too. Game saves are nice. Game saves are nice. Oh, Smith, you know, my PS, my, uh, C64 PSU arrived today. Black screen, got to order the dead test card. Yeah, um, the VIC-20 I got coming in, I'll, I'll have to test the uh, uh, the power immediately uh, so as not to, hopefully not to have to do too much work. We'll see. We'll see. That's half the fun. Though. That's the good thing about Commodore 64, VIC-20, that kind of stuff. Most of the problems, every, we, we're pretty aware of the problems. You just, you just have to kind of work your way through them. Slowly but surely. I've also got to get some tapes. There's a ghost in here. You know how many times I've shot that and the ghost comes out and kills me? Yeah, is it the red balls that stopped me? And then that's what I was thinking what was going on for Fornado because it was uh, the red balls were stopping me and then I would run into, uh, into a scorpion because I was, I was completely stopped. And of course, they just kill me. Yeah, okay. That's what That was my suspicion. Also looking to pick up that RetroTINK 4K. I've got the RetroTINK 5X, and if you're not familiar with what that is, it allows you to upscale uh, a lot of these older systems into something um, that a more modern display can handle. Now, of course, I love my CRTs and stuff. I got, I've got mini CRTs back here, and I just put a laser displayer in. We we're watching Demon Knight last night on a watch stream on the Discord server. That's a lot of fun. I gotta go through all my laser disc. I got a lot of Disney. I got a lot of Disney laser disc. But tomorrow night, tomorrow night on Discord server, we're watching, we're doing a VHS watch party of a Christmas story. Uh, ordered one off eBay, and uh, in true form and fashion uh, is the material. We're hoping for a Christmas miracle that the video cassette will arrive on Wednesday. Just tomorrow, which was the original date, it said it would be delivered, and uh, <laughs> and then it said it was going to be Thursday. But we've already made the plans. Already made the plans. So we're hoping for a Christmas miracle. If not, we've got uh, we've got a backup plan. We're going to see how that goes. Thank you for the follow, Smith Mule. Thank you so much. Welcome in. Oh, how do I get past this? Was this, I guess, yeah. So this is one to one. So if you if you see this on Steam, um, the levels are laid out just like the levels on the Sega Master System for the Alex Kid. I love that frog. That God, the artwork interpretation is so good. Oh, by the way, if you hit those, you get froze up for a second, but it's kind of good because you want to get above this guy here. Let's see if I can hide in the same spots. I can. Pay attention to detail. Yeah, that little fish over there is going to give me trouble, I can see. All right, we're about to get to the dirt bike area. I wonder if I have enough. Now, there's an extra fish down here. I don't believe, was that fish? I don't think that fish was there in the other version. They're not going to let me hide. They're going to let me hide. Not going to let me hide. Oh, man. Oh, they didn't let me hide. 
Oh, no, no, no. Okay, you're, you're invincible there for a second or two. Dragon's Trap was epic, really. Yeah, they just removed some of the fun bugs exploits in this version. Psh, what a jerk, right? Oh, no, I did it. I hit the wrong block. I was floating up too fast. Oh, no, oh, no. That scares me every time, though. Cripes. I had much better luck going towards the top. Hey, did that girl... Did Oh, dang! God bless America. So let's pop back over to the old one for just a second. For those retros, the retros heads coming in now, let's pop back over to the old on the Sega Master System here. Let's see if we can make it back. Interesting, my camera over here has stopped working. Now, I know that Joey was playing um, Syndicate, right? Last week, I believe. Did you ever guys ever finish Syndicate? I love that game. I got to go back to another playthrough on that. Yeah, and yesterday. Excellent. Kill Hall says, I moved a 114-pound Sanyo CRT by myself last weekend. Still got it, baby. Yeah, that's, uh, oh, man, uh, the local place, one of the local thrift store places calls me whenever they get CRTs or any type of TV, uh, TVs in, really. Um, and you know, they're always like, they got rear projection stuff. They had a really nice Mitsubishi rear screen, kind of more modern. Had like HDMI inputs and everything, but it was still rear rear uh, rear projection. I was like, nah, I can't do anything with that. But it was super nice. So it was it was high high dollar back in the day, um, but didn't happen. So, but I did pick up a nice RCA of all things. It's a true flat, thirteen inch. It's got S video in. Um, looks pretty sharp. It's not as sharp though, but it looks sharp. Um, but they're nice enough to always call me and give me an opportunity to, uh, huh. So I'm picking it up, give me an opportunity to come out there and take a look before they take them to the dump. Uh, that's a good question. Why does the rear projection turn me off? That's a good question. So it's just not, uh, I don't have any nostalgia for it. There we go. There we go. There's the there's the the camera. There's that master system there. So I just don't have any nostalgia for it really. It was kind of uh, a little later in. I had a projector I used or CRTs and then I got I moved into plasmas. I never was really too impressed by the rear projection, but it was one of the nicer rear projections I've ever seen. I'm sure it was great. I'm sure somebody has nostalgia for it, but not me. Plus it's so huge. It's huge. Had wheels though. That's a bonus. You don't have to pick it up too many times, I hope. All right, here we go. Here's this Alex kid in Miracle World. There's some shock, right? There you go. Now you've just gotten tossed back. Oh, yeah, I can't hold this, can I? This is my uh, Xbox controller's not going to do it. Yeah, Fortnite. Sega Master System 1 looks quite different than the ones here. They were much more rounded. Yes, uh, I always wanted, I always wanted a Mark III, uh, but this is the one that I had growing up. Um, it's these all these sharp, hard angles that you cut yourself on. Ah, um, but yeah, I love it. It's got the card, the front, the card input. Of course, you got your old classic controller there, your eight directional D pad with your start one button, your start two button. So dang big. Coffee says, I need a small CRT. My Panasonic 16, 16 by 9 HD CRT is huge. Yeah. Heavy and doesn't really work for the retro setup I'm going for. This is true. I have two 26 inches back here, and they're pretty big. They're flats, and uh, which is which is good, but they're super heavy. They generate a lot of heat, and uh, lots of times it's just inconvenient. But this 13 inch is perfect. That's right, and they had this game built in. This this particular one is the first version that was released, which is the one with the uh, 
It's the one with the snail game, which is not as good. But I was able to pick up this Alex Kidd Miracle World for like 15, 16 bucks off of uh, eBay. Uh, not complete in box or anything. But see, if you if you just watch what we just did, this is pretty much the same thing. Get a little ring. Now, here's a trick. It took me a few minutes to remember this and to, to do because you'll see this is a directional pad and it's got your one and two, no select, start, none of that kind of stuff. But there is a reset and a pause button on the console itself. And so to get to... So to get to this, you first pick up your item, then you have to hit your pause button on screen. Brings up this menu here. You activate the ring, get back out of the start, the pause menu, and then you go. 20 inch CRTs is, is about great. 19 inch, 20 inch, those are really good. Um, so now we have the ability to toss this here. We can sling ring our way to success. I bet you I still fall. I bet you still die at the same places. What you want to bet? See, these these are not obviously dinos, right? These are just whatever. Once again, that question mark down there. That is a death ghost. If you open that up, you can almost guarantee death. Very vertical game. Unlike Mario, instead of being a horizontal game, we got a vertical game. To escape the ghost. You have to be able to go uh, about two screens down instead of over. I was hoping I could grab that money without falling. Ah, whew. All right. This game requires a little bit of hurry up and wait patience. I, you know, I don't have any, um, I don't have any computer CRTs. I've just have TV CRTs. Um, for some reason, those just get butchered here. So I saw some, I went to one thrift store that I visit occasionally, and apparently they have a thing where they cut all the cords off of the monitors and then throw them in the trash. And I think they keep the cords and maybe, I don't know, melt down the copper? I don't know. But it's very disappointing. I'm like, oh, this is very disappointing. It's like, just let me see this for a minute. Let me take these home. I don't need any more. <laughs> you gramped out and fell asleep, says Bucky. Is it gramping out, really? I mean, you know, you don't have to be a gramps to nap out. Oh, man, I used to... Oh, especially during wintertime. Like, when it gets in the fall and wintertime, which it is here in the States, um, you can fall asleep anytime. Any age. You know, that combination of it's warm in here, but it's cold outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They all had crappy VGA cables that broke the third time you moved them. True story, coffee. I found a really cool adapter today. It's, uh, it's an NVIDIA. Is it the EVGA brand? Um... Oh shoot, missed it. Um, but it's kind of it's got an S video and a composite in, and then some kind of weird proprietary. Almost looks like a. I thought it was a Sega Saturn or Genesis pin because you know those kind of have like a. They almost look like a an S video cable, but they got way more pins inside. And I thought it was that at first, but when I looked at it further, I realized oh, it's got some S video in. And S video out. Apparently, it worked with some. See, the, in the new one, there's this fish down here to keep you from being able to do this. Why would you do that? This game is hard enough as it is without bringing that in into it. One knows behind that question mark. I don't. I know what's behind it. It's a darn fool ghost, and I will die for sure. Shay, what's going on, my friend? Safety requirement here cut the power cord off before disposal so folks can't just plug in and set fire to their house. Not sure why you'd cut the VGA cable off though. Yeah, true. Ah. There we got it. Got it. Hopefully I got enough for the bike. And now that I understand that it's the red balls that are stopping me, I will now know to avoid them. I have 300 so I can buy a sling ring 
Um, a invincibility pellet. So I, I wonder if I get this. I still have 100 left. And I get this. Will I activate both when I leave here? I think we will. Oh, yeah, love the Tonda emotes, right? Love me some Tonda Gosa. Um, I've got to get some more emotes working here, too. I got an iPad Pro. And I am going to make... I don't think I have to jump over these guys. I think I just have to avoid... I don't think I have to avoid, I think... You know, these red balls, which I'm about to hit. Oh, son of a butthole. <laughs> the first red ball I come across. The first dirt red ball I come across. Stupid. Oh, no! Yeah, it was confusing me earlier because I couldn't afford the bike, and I'm like, where are all these red balls for? Look at these stupid frogs trying to give me a kiss. All puckered up. I'll give you a kiss. We'll have to check on that. We'll have to check on that Christmas miracle here before we go, too. To see... Oh, my... Really, Brian? Come on. Okay, I'm flashing for a second here. All right. So I like how Alice Kid gets his powers, right? Doesn't he go like any... He goes like to the, you know, to the far reaches somewhere so he can meditate, so he can learn how to uh, throw a punch. Isn't that the story? Shay says, some anonymous member of the community gifted me dreads and most emotes the other day. Interesting, really. Love me some dread emotes. Oh, come on. I punched. I punched. Maybe I didn't punch. Is that a requirement? Oh, I was punching and then I missed him. That's good, though. So what's the next one after this? There's Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Uh, Release-wise, when did Alex Kidd in Shinobi? Is that the title of it? I can't remember. I know that's where I was introduced to the character because I played a lot of Shinobi. First game I owned on the Master System was Shinobi. Can I... Can I... Oh, don't, don't! There's Alice Kidd in Miracle World. That's weird. And every time you think you finished this, you're like, oh yeah, I finished this area. Sweet. I don't have to deal with no more of those uh, you know, weird jumping frogs over those particular platforms. Wrong, you gotta do it again. Cause this level wants you to have that motorbike really bad. You've only played this Alice game? I know there's others. I've never played any, so this has been quite the experience. I've been really enjoying it. Glad I picked it up. Ooh, oh no! Oh! Come on! Come on, Brian! Get your act together! Oh! <sighs> That's fine. That's fine. Let's check on that Christmas miracle. What do you say? Let's go check on that Christmas miracle real quick. Let's go check the shipping. See if we're going to get Christmas vacation in time. By the way, if you're not part of the Discord server, come on in. We have a book club. We have uh, watch parties. We talk about retro games. We talk about 3D printing. Uh, we talk about tech in general. We just hang out some days. We have... a. a uh, many different uh, countries on our Discord server. Many people from many different places. You're you're probably going to find somebody to talk to just about any time of the day. Somebody's on there hanging out, doing stuff. Wordle, they got that running again, apparently. And apparently I'm an idiot. I tried to get that to earlier, but I didn't know what I was doing. I think Rev's going to hook me up and straighten me out. Um, let me head over to eBay real quick. My favorite place to not uh, sell or offer. Oh, we got an offer. Oh, what do we got kind of offer here? We got, oh, they got the Macross. They're telling me that for for a review offer, they're knocking it down from 14 
to $8.19 with $3 shipping. Maybe. Maybe. You hold on to that for a minute. You just think about that for a minute. I'll, I got five hours to make a decision. Well, I also ordered Final Fantasy XII. Why did I order that for the PlayStation 2? Because I purchased a Final Fantasy a compendium slash art book slash strategy guide and I've always wanted to do a strategy guide. I don't know if this is the best place to start but I found it organically and I try to play organically. I try to play games that I come across uh, out in the wild. Like I picked up I uh, would have never have ordered off eBay. I would have never ordered um the Sega Genesis cart that I picked up today. In the wild. Never seen it before. Sega Genesis. Risk. A complete in box with manual. Not something I would have ordered. But something I found organically out in the wild. Uh, looks like we may be still holding out for that Christmas miracle. It says that the the uh, Christmas vacation is going through the USPS regional facilities and it is still on its way. But will it be here Thursday or will it be here tomorrow? We're going to find out. Alice Kid Lost Stars is the next in the series on the Master System. Very good. Thank you, Key Hall. Coffee confirmed. So in release order, Miracle World, The Lost Stars, High Tech World. I saw a lot of that. I saw a bunch of those. BMX Trial. All right. Guess they were just trying to stretch out. You know, Sega at this point did not have a uh, mascot to speak of that they would consider an official mascot. They had already had one. Oh, was it what 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 game was that weird? What was that weird looking spaceship looking thing with the legs that was like? The first thing they were putting all their marketing material, and then uh, then went to Alex Kid, and then of course Sonic. Um, but you said also BMX Trial, Enchanted Castle, and Shinobi World. That's why I remember. Then DX and oh, so big big gap between. Coffee says I played Final Fantasy X on PS2 back in the day. Watched someone on Twitch recently and went, I don't remember that. What is that? Who is that? <laughs> like I said, I the only Final Fantasy I have really spent any time on was seven for in the U.S. Whatever, whatever the equivalents of that is in the rest of the world, the U.S. seven. I don't know if they matched up the the times at that point. Got to collect at least enough money to buy myself a bike. Got him. I wish I could squat and shoot. That would really help. Now, there's there's places in Super Mario. Obviously, you can see some Super Mario influences here. I mean, there's already places in Super Mario that, oh, I did it then. I hit the ghost. Here he comes. Did I escape? Did I escape? Okay, good. Yeah, the great name reset. Oh, 7 was the great Reset. Same across. Okay, good. Because I think we had, what, six? No, we had... Didn't they release three? In I, daggummit, I ran across the ghost again. I always can't forget. I think we had six that was really three, or three that was six. I can't remember. That's for later, whenever I learn about all about Final Fantasy. Ah, oh, shoot. Three was five, and four was six. And seven was seven. Really? I did not know that, Fornado. it! Since you got that ghost, the next question mark box should be a life. So, the one down here, does that does that progress? Like, uh, so I've, I've opened both the ghosts above... 
Now there's another ghost that's supposed to be down here. Does that mean that will be a life? I oh, mean, I thank you for that because I was really trying to avoid those. Because, you know, once they once they start going, we didn't see it this time. But, uh, man, once those guys start going, you're in trouble. The question mark boxes always cycle. I did not know that. I just try to avoid them. That makes sense. I thought it was just trying to, you know, thought they was just trying to get me. Wait a minute. Now there is a fish down there. Did I do something different? Because, yeah, on the other one, there's the fish down there, but he's not usually down there. Oh, my gosh. So are we thinking that this time it will? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get that exit ready and prepped. Prepped here. All right. Let's go ahead and get as much money as we can. Hopefully we can afford to buy that bike. Let's see if we can. Oh, yeah. No, wait, 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 wait a minute. 220. Yeah, that's enough to buy the bike. Not enough to buy the invincibility, which we didn't get to use last time. Yeah, that maybe is random. All right, there's me a little bit more money. A few more dollars. Let's wait for the fish to come back and go back. Yeah, look at that. It was a life. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Thank you for that. Is he eating? Is he drinking a beer there? Or is it? Is it? A, I thought it was supposed to be rice. But it looks like a beer. Welcome. Please buy the things that you like. Well, I like all the things, please. I guess I will take. Almost messed up. I got the ring. All right. Let's see if we can do better than the first. All right. All right. All right, let's see. Okay, we got a little bit of bouncing going on here. Now, usually by this point, I've like started just really going. Like here, like here we go. Okay. Oh, dang it. Okay, so as long as I keep my back, as long as I keep my back over there. Oh, okay. This is the best I've done. This is the best I've done. Everybody hold on to your butts. Oh my God. I'm so stressed out right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's the farthest I've ever made it. So I guess I wasn't making it past that then. Okay, ignore ig ignore bad, avoid balls. Gotcha. Woo! Rice black thing is a built-in version. He gets a hamburger. Oh, really? Oh, look at this. It's the furthest we made it. Oh, my God. It's, a, it's Stonehead, who is a fist with eyes. The third henchman of the king. I'll let you pass by here if you win three... Jankin matches. I don't know what that is other than Jankin. That's why I like my I focus my my power right into my fist. You must choose either the paper. Oh, here's the rock, paper, rock, scissors. Stone. Okay, so paper, scissors, or stone before the music stops. All right. It seems like something that I'm going to be in trouble with. Like, I'm going to start it, and it's going to be like, I don't know which one to choose. It's going to be like, quick, hurry. Okay. Always go rock. Oh, I, okay. I got to choose here. Okay. What do you think? Rock? I'm going rock. Darn it. Oh, did I lose? I was pressing the buttons. I'm going to throw rock again. Okay. That's only my first strike, right? Okay. The music stops. Okay. Oh, dang. I win. You got it. Wait. What? Okay, so he, he threw paper. By the way, his hand being open is comical. I mean, the fist was already comical. I win. You got it. What? Who's speaking right now? Am I speaking? Because paper beats rock, right? Okay, that's him talking. Okay. Let's go scissors. No, he went paper. Let's get paper. He's going to go rock. Yeah, we both went paper. It's a draw. You sure lucked out. I should have. I should have went scissors. Should have went scissors. What do you think? You think he's going to throw paper again? He's not going to throw paper again. Yeah. There we go. Oh, they're always the same, too, if you want to memorize them. Oh, shoot. I ain't been paying attention. <laughs> I ain't been paying attention to this one. I'm supposed to memorize something. 
Oh, that was good. That's all I needed. It went two out of three then. Okay, so two out of three was good enough. Whoo. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Back out of the water. Okay, so last time it was a life. So this time that is not going to be a life, right? Okay, so we got some more yin here, I'm assuming. Oh, okay, we saw this in the intro title. I saw this this pot pot of octopus. So I can't jump out, right? Why do you have stuff on the top then if you can't jump out? Hmm. Yeah, more water, my favorite. Oh boy. He's got that one weird arm. So why is he in a pot under the water? I mean, there's no fire or anything. Just random. Uh oh, these don't look like bad guys, but everything else has been like bad colors. These guys don't look bad. Are they bad? I'm just gonna avoid. I avoid. I don't die. Hold to swim fast if you need to escape ghost. Okay, let me see. So it must be one button then. Okay. Oh, see, I need my tip advisor here. This is probably all in the manual. And I cheaped out and just went for the cart. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I did kind of cheap out and just go for the cart. But I figured I could read the manual online, but I didn't do it. I'm pretty happy with the... I'm pretty happy with the output on this, by the way. The Sega Master System. Little... Is it a hyper... I think it's a Hyperkin adapter that goes from the Sega Master System big pin. Almost like an old... Uh, keyboard wedge type uh, to to US uh, no to HDMI excuse me to HDMI it looks pretty good I think it looks pretty decent it's a little tougher let's see look get my get my fast women on here let me practice this a second here all right all right okay all right slocktopus oh thank you Fornito I thought it did Pretty pleased. I got uh, got an adapter for my GameCube as well. Um, and it just goes to S Video, and I'm playing Pokemon on the Game Boy Player. That's been pretty cool. Interesting. So we got a fish down here. He stays in his lane, though, right? He's a he's a lane fish. All right, this guy up here, though. He's all over the place. Yeah, we did it. Oh, I guess we could get, possibly get a motorcycle here, too. Okay, so do we need to, like, bust everything? These are the equivalent of rocks. Okay, so I'm assuming that these still give you, like, pause for say They, like, they jar you, right? I don't lose any life or points, do I? Let's see here. 204. Let's see. We got 200 points. Score 74. 4. Let's see if we lose anything. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. there we are. I'm going to have to destroy everything, you know, Brian. There we go. All right. So I get a little shock. 200 fours. It's the same, right? I didn't lose anything, right? I think it's the same. Next bike is level seven. So, uh, settle in. It's gonna be a minute. Wow, I've, I've I've knocked all my possibilities out. I think by punching those things, I got a little punch happy. Better start saving up for that bike. Oh no, I can't get back up. Oh, I guess I can. Just do it here, right? Uh, what can I run and jump? Let's see. Now, cause the run. Oh, what is that thing? Can I grab a hold of that? Ooh, I don't like this. I don't care for this at all. Me. Oh. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, there we go. I got another one here. Let's see. Oh, shoot. That was too low. I didn't mean to do it that low. All right, that's good. That's fine. Um. No, oh, come on! Hit my head. Hit my head. There should be two lives left, right? Oh, 
Oh, man. And it keeps what you got, too. Yeah! Woo! What is that? <laughs> this little scorpion, I can see it's her tail! <laughs> Too much stress. Too stressful. Suck it, Mario. Oh, look at this guy. Is this the store? No, oh, he's gonna give me the thing. He's gonna give me the, uh... Oh, he's gonna give me the thing. Nice. Welcome, Alex. You are a prince from the country of Redaxian. Oh, we saw the right away they told us a story in the other one. This one gets story about midways. Who was kidnapped by evil men when you were but a small boy. But a small boy. Your native land is now being grossly misgoverned by the tyrant, Jenkin. Oddly enough, called the Great. Your mission is to save the populace from him. Save the populace. Fornado says, there, uh, there's even a way to possibly continue when it's game over. Handy tip I picked up in the schoolyard. We were looking at that earlier. There's, uh, there's, uh, so thank you for not spoiling that for us. Appreciate you very much. But we did start looking at some stuff with that and it, we, we were discussing mashing the buttons, like holding up the D-pad and then mashing one or two, like eight times. But it wasn't entirely clear. Uh, Coffee says on another retro junk note, I bought some SF2000 handhelds. Nice. Up to Game Boy Advance for $15. Nice. I want to get the Game Boy SP Advance. That's what I want. I haven't had one in forever. The shape of SNES gamepad. Hmm. With a screen. Huh. Fun little backup presence. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Something like that. Trying to get it just at the right time. So is it... I've, I've, I've experimented a couple of times with doing it at the game over screen or doing it as he's elevating up. Um, but you gotta be fast. But if I was fast, I wouldn't need to save the lives. Uh, very Okay, so give me it. Give me it. Yes. All right. Do I get to use it now or do I have to wait until? I would assume I have to wait until. All right, there we go. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, yeah, look at this. I am nervous. I am nervous to hit the button because I'm not sure how it's going to respond. And I think I'm going to sink right away and I'm going to lose my opportunity. And you have to have the cash. That's the other thing, too. You got to have the $400 in cash. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fornado said to said that. Yep, you also need $400. I think it's, uh, yeah. So we only have 210. So we would need more. We would need more. So you have to die rich or die trying. Okay, so that does that. Oh, I oh I got the shooty thing too. <laughs> okay, okay, just got hit a bunch of times. Oh, okay, so I'm it's pedal power. It's pedal power. Okay, okay, I feel a little better now. Then, well, that was making me nervous. Well, that's not so bad. I say that, and then I'm gonna probably die instantly. So I'm guessing if I, I don't want to do that. It's exactly what I didn't want to do, man. Man. Uh, I got froze up here. Once again, I'm not sure I'm not losing points when I do that. I probably need to stop. But I guess I'll have to if I want to get through this area, right? Well, I guess I could have went up top. Let's check in on this. Let's check this again. 300. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're doing okay. So let's try to get to 400. So if we do die, if we do do die... I forget how much is it, like 10? Oh yeah, my gosh, we gotta get so many more. So you don't think I ever lose that? Okay. That's points. Oh, okay. Wait. Yeah, the arrangement of this is confusing. Because it's like, okay, so you got the yens. You got the yens! Which is left aligned. Then the money, which is kind of right aligned, which is 320. Then you get two. 
Then you get score. And then you got this inventory area. But I don't know what exactly the little sun means. Does that mean it's daytime? Is there a day night cycle in this thing? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> I looked away because I thought I was in a safe place. I thought I was in a safe space. I was not safe. You're never safe. You're never safe, Brian. Okay. So sun, sun is an item, but you can't activate it. Okay. All right. Who needs a manual when I got you guys? I just... I've yet to die by that guy, but I just really hate him. He just seems so... Ugh. Aggressive. It's just aggressive fish. Yuck, what's up? Oh, evening. I listened to the retro show episode about the Game Boy after work today. It was great. Well, thank you very much. I've had so much fun. And I can't wait to finish playing all the Pokemon games that I have on the Game Boy. Which is, I think, potentially all of them. Including... Seeing if I can use the link cable on my Game Boy Color to connect to the GameCube Game Boy Player so that I can collect them all because as we know, they release them in pairs and I've got uh, gold, Was it, is it silver and gold? And so the only way to get them all is to link and then battle, right? Thank you for the follow, The Wandering Warlock. We're glad you wandered on over by. Thank you so much. Um, you can. Okay. Um, also ordered accidentally because I thought I knew what I was ordering. Ordered a Game Boy Advance link cable that plugs into the controller ports of the GameCube that apparently you can control some games using. But then I realized it wasn't for the Game Boy Color. It's the Game Boy Advance. So now I need to get Game Boy Advance. That's right. No worries. Some of my favorite words to say. I love saying no worries. No worries, my friend. Say it at work all the time. But sometimes I wonder, because it's not a, I think it may be a generational thing. What is that? Why does it like Baby Mario is coming at me? Can I punch it? Whoo! Why was Baby Mario head coming at me? What was that all about? What was that thing? Like somebody took a Mario head and dressed it up as a baby. Yes, coffee can also be playing Zelda on the GameCube on the game on the Game Boy. I've got I've got the seasons. I've got Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of what is it? Oracle of Seasons and what's the other one? What's the other ones? The Nintendo's uh, attempt to do Zelda episodically. Something I'm also hoping to play next year. There's a great port of Bubble Bobble on the Super on the Sega Master System. I did not know that. I'll have to check that out. Anyone know if GBA Link Cable works for the Game Boy games on the Game Boy Advance? Hmm. Man, the the Link stuff, that's all a mystery. I don't even think sometimes they know. <laughs> I don't even think if Nintendo sometimes knows. Because every time I've looked at any of the Link Cables, it's kind of been like that. It's kind of like, um... Oh, I kind of think I blew that. Um... Interesting designs on this one. Look at that Mario looking thing. That. Am I wrong? Is that not Mario's head? Is that a jab at Mario? Oh, this is some serious platforming here. This is like platforming 101. Better get it right. I do like the fact that Alice Kid does not bother itself as much with any type of timing. I appreciate that. Because if I did have one complaint about Super Mario Brothers, it would definitely have to be the timing thing. No, no, come on! Yeah, 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 I did it! I did it! Freaking did it! Freaking did it! 
Whoo! You didn't see that on screen, but I was mashing that button. I was smashing that button. I was smashing that button like I was wanting to like and subscribe to somebody's YouTube channel. Woo! <laughs> oh, you heard it. <laughs> Coffee says, uh, oh, I had Bubble Bobble on Sega Master System from memory. It had a colored dot password screen. It didn't help me considering it had black and white TV for it. That'll do it. Oh, did I not go to the shop? Now, did I lose all my money? I didn't even notice that there's a shop here earlier. Why did, how did I walk right past that? Well, I can't. I can't do it. Oh, because it doesn't matter. Because I've only got, I've only got thirty anyway, so I can't afford anything. Which is a good thing I didn't, because I would have spent the money, and then I would have died, and then I would not have had the money uh, to continue. That was great. Now is that dot gray or right slightly grayer? Oh, the the I had I had an interesting uh my grandma and grandpa they had um my papa and grammy my mama um they had an interesting setup because they were the only ones in my family who had cable but they were the only ones in my family who had a black and white TV so i could see anything at my my grandparents house including HBO and all these other great movie channels, but it all had to be in black and white. What you gonna do? I didn't even know they made Bugs Bunny in color until many years later. <laughs> the chopper in that shop quickly pays for itself. Okay. No, that's so I pressed run and I meant to press jump. I hit punch when I meant to hit. Oh my gosh, that stupid. <sighs> All right, let's focus here. Because we ain't got no, we ain't got no money. Don't matter how many times I mash that button this next time. Oh, and now I jump up there perfectly. Now that he's not even there. Oh, now I'm stressed. <laughs> Oh my gosh, all this money, if I could just have it so I could do my continues in case it happens. What is that angry bird looking thing down there? He's on fire though. Let's see, we, last time it was a ghost. So, okay, these are flames. I love this, these sprite characters now, I hate them. <laughs> There's not enough money. There's not enough money to do the continue. Oh, that was pretty nice. I enjoyed that. Well, you know what? All right. Uh, what time is it? Yep. We're about three hours. That's what we set out to do tonight. And that's what we did. Uh, so I want to thank everybody for hanging out tonight. I want to thank uh, the Wandering Warlock. Welcome in uh, for that follow. Smith Mule. Thank you for that follow. Huge shout out to that girl, Joey. And seriously. That's right. Good game. High score. Seriously, if you're not following that girl, Joey, what are you even doing? Fernando, are you are you streaming any? I'm going to give you a shout out anyway. Deal with it. I always love talking to you. It's always good. Black Mesa, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Playing some Black Mesa. And don't forget to follow that girl, Joey. Great Amiga stuff. I love it. I love the Commodore stuff. I love it so much. That speaks to my soul. We reached our sub goal today. We're at 71 out of our 70 total subs. Not bad. And we can thank Max Trollbot for taking us to the edge and then pushing us over. And Zoe brings the bacon, started us all off. She's probably in the bed by now. She's probably in the bed by now. Uh, and thank you to Marcos Zabuza, our Brazilian follower. Our Brazilian follower. That's American humor. Uh, yeah, streaming a bit lately. Uh, we'll finish Black Mesa this weekend. Oh, very good. And of course I'm following you, right? I mean, that's not, a, that's not even a question, right? Yeah, I'm already following you. All right, making sure. Making sure! Making sure. I haven't played Black Mesa in a minute. I need to get back. Isn't there some, kind of, isn't there some new stuff out with Black Mesa? Didn't they do some kind of new thing? How am I supposed to keep up with all the old stuff and the new stuff? What am I? 
What am I? Multi-talented? Let's see who's out there for raiding. More, yes. More. Yes. Bimogu, not only that, I was such a game out of the community. Yes, we will do some more Sega Master System because like I said, that was my first console game besides Atari Pong, which was just a little two paddles in a box and, just, well, and wasn't even really a console, really. I mean, it's a generation in the very beginning, but really... I love the Sega Master System. It's one of my favorite systems. It doesn't get enough love either. And I would love to go back and get, you know, some maybe the European releases or the Japanese releases of the the Mark 1 and all those things. Um, but tune in for more of that stuff cuz I've also got some card slot games and I've got a light gun which I can use with my CRT. Uh oh, thank you so much. Great show. Good show. Max Trollbot. Gain a sub. Gift a sub. Bless you. Like I said, if not part of the Discord server, join. We have a book club. We have we talk about modern games. We talk about retro games. We talk about everything. We talk about tech gear. We talk about 3D printing. We talk about painting those 3D miniatures. We talk about Warhammer. We talk about all the good stuff. It's so much fun. And we do all those watch parties where we watch old stuff. Last week we watched VHS of grumpy old men uh, and we're surprised by an intro from dinner and a movie an old tbs thing they used to do that's kind of like a you know a, one of those introductory to the movies where you go oh here's a funny little skit we'll do right before we play the movie and we did that um, and hopefully we'll have a christmas miracle tomorrow night with christmas vacation um and if not, we'll make it happen. We'll make something happen. We'll make Christmas vacation happen some way. But hopefully the VHS will be in the mail tomorrow. And it'll be just like the movie where it's just like, until we got this, we didn't know how we was going to do it. And then we'll have to send out uh, Uncle, we'll have to send out Eddie to, to get the boss. All right, anyway, Power Strike 2 is amazing. All right, well, let's we'll see. I'll, I'll put that on my list. I need to get a list of all the Sega Master System games that we want to tackle. Oh, that looks awesome. I like how that looks. That looks good. Power Strike 2. Europe only. I wonder if it'll play. Is there, were these regioned? Were these region locked? Thank you, Fornado. Thank you so much. For, and thank you for giving some of the tips without giving too many tips. Kia Ora. All right. Uh, let's see. We got to do that thing. We got to do that thing. We'll be ending soon, but we don't want to not have the music. I love the music. Where is the music for this thing? Um, book, video capture device. It's the Elgato 4K. Whoop. Get a little love there. Look at that. Look at all those subscribers. Thank you to the patron supporters as well. It's been good. But yeah, if you wanna if you wanna post in the Discord server, if you wanna hit me up on Twitter, I'm the Brian Dunaway, X, wherever that thing is called, Threads, wherever else you wanna find me, uh, and let me know what Sega Master System game you'd like to see me play, and, and if it's affordable and I can afford it, we will get it. Oh look, Tonda is online. Oh, and so is Jammy Whammy, uh, but we can't. Bat oh, and Pass the Plunger. All great people. Bo Schwartz is on. Oh, all my friends are on right now. It's going to be tough to choose. But since we raided in with, since a lot of us are already here, no time to go. So we're going to just raid in on Tonda and keep this love train rolling. Right? We're just going to keep this retro love train going. And I, it's no at on there. There's no at Brian. Rain? That's not how you do that. Is that right? Did I get it? Yeah, there we go. Yes! You gotta do that. Tonda for the emotes! You gotta do Tonda for the emotes. Playing some retro. Probably doing a You Choose It pick game. The thing he's been doing lately. He's got a new PC. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. Uh, and we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Hopefully, see you then.